Oh, perfect. Perfect! There we go, there we go, there we go. That was the right scene. All right, so... I don't know who's there yet. Not that big of a deal. We're gonna be doing some more mansers today. <laughs> Greetings, greetings, Dance. How are you today? Hopefully the week has treated you well, or at least above, above average. You know what I mean? But we're doing more Mancers, because uh, I figured it's close to my birthday, so let's do a stream where I'm just doing what I'm feeling. Although I feel like I usually do that. I had a wild ducking day. Okay, tell me about it. Ooh, also... We are drinking fucking see-through, bro. We're drinking Red Bull today because um, I have a bunch of shipments of Red Bull now, and they were free, so I'm going to drink them. I've never had a Red Bull, actually, so this is my first time trying a Red Bull. They're kind of small. I feel like they're like small enough size where I could just like shotgun these things, and it'd be nothing, but... What? That tastes like nothing. Bro, that isn't even that sweet. This tastes like nothing. A co-worker is divorcing his wife because she can't cook. <laughs> Hid this fact for five years and gave food poisoning to his mom. The poor woman almost died. What? The food she served her mother-in-law made her sick and she had no idea about the ingredients or their origins. Thus, she had no choice but to confess. Bro, I don't... I don't feel like cooking is that hard. You know what I mean? Maybe that's just me, but I feel like... I don't think I've ever made something that gave me food poisoning. To be fair, I didn't cook with meat for a long time, but as of my recent development of reintroducing meat into my diet, I don't think I've ever made somebody sick. Then again, I guess I'd rather have something more on the side of crispy than raw, so I don't... Getting divorced because you can't cook. <laughs> I feel like that could have been easily dealt with years ago by just taking a cooking class. Or, you know, the internet. Oh my goodness. That just sounds funny to me, dude. That just sounds absolutely hilarious. Like, I don't even... Bacon! You a streamer. I hate streamers. Man, those party decorations sure are a nuisance. Anyway, hello, Bacon. How are you? How how has time been flying by? How's your lady updates? I'll be honest, I'm not... I am not loving the Red Bull, dude. Harley! Hello, hello, Harley. How you doing? Should I? I'll stick with lad. I usually call everybody lad unless I get corrected, so we'll stick with that. But yeah, dude, I don't... The the Red Bull's kind of eh. Ghostly, hello, hello. What is up with you? Bro, yeah, do any of you guys like Red Bull? I, used to, I, I don't know why everybody's like so like shit on Red Bull, but I will say it kind of just tastes like if I teabagged a battery in some water. Yeah. Not loving that. Not loving that. Mother-in-law got the spins. The spins? Vomiting and shitting. Blacked out and was rushed. Very dehydrated to the hospital. Oh no. The old woman is stable, but was one foot into the grave. When you're cooking so bad, you fucking kill somebody? Dude. Red Bull is like a last minute thing. I'd rather drink anything else bro harley we're not i'm not doing this whole let's say an end slur bullshit all right i don't if you want to hang cool um but come on like come on you know what i mean red bull is like freshman's idea of energy like hydrate oh yes you're right you're right 
It's his name. Literally, no, it's not. Literally, no, it's not. And who the fuck shouts somebody out with saying their first and last name? All right. Anyway, so we're going to be doing some answers today. And <laughs> I feel like if, even if I approve that message, I'm pretty sure Dance would just shut it down. But hopefully you're having a good time, Harley. What are we reacting to today? We are doing some... <laughs> We are doing some Mansers bullshit again. What is, what is, remember what we were doing last week? We're kind of just going down that, that path, basically. And doing some random questions. I don't know. I was also thinking about maybe looking a little bit into, oh, what's his name? Junito? Fuck, what's his name? I've been, I've been wanting to get more in. Junito Ito? I'm prob, Junji Ito. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I want to dive more into that vein. So I don't know. I might also mess a little bit with that. See what everybody's ideas are on it. Because the art's fucking badass and I want to become a stan. I'm good. She's doing good. She already has everything packed. Like three outfits that she's washing until she... Oh, nice, nice. The spam account get taken down on Insta? I have absolutely no idea, Ghostly. Absolutely no idea. Oh, Mancers? Fuck, I don't enjoy this stuff. You know, Mancers is like one of those things, right? Mancers is one of those things where, like, I hate to watch it and I hate that it was on, but there's just something so... It's like, it's like I can't look away. It's like a car crash, you know? It's so bad, but I can't help but, like, want to consume it. Mance is one of those things that you hate, but booba. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be honest. I feel like the physiques of, like, girls in the early 2000s were a little... I don't know. I person personally... I like my ladies with a little bit more meat on their bones, but who am I? Who am I? You know, owners of a creationist theme park blame God for owning a million in... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. But who knows? If you guys have some other interesting content that we can dive into, I might do that too. Anyway, Mansers. And yeah, you're right. Booba. Not a lot of booba, but booba nonetheless. Okay? Also, it's so interesting because you just wonder who the wasp goblin approved this hogwash? Dude, I know. So this one's what's the slippiest, su slipperiest substance on earth? You ever feel like everybody looks the same? For centuries, you know? One question that is always Maybe that's just me. Our... Like, y'all ever watch The Bachelor and you're like, I don't even know, like, the difference between any of these people. Everybody looks the same. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'd say lube is pretty slippery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, so I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be... I'm gonna expose myself. All right, so one time... One time I watched somebody use like <sighs> fuck how do i they use like a like a pp vacuum all right one of those like because i was like how the fuck do you use like a dick vacuum you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying okay and anyway like i just want to say i this was for logic this was for research purposes it was for science all right science purposes pocket no like like a vacuum bro like full on like suck vacuum anyway the dude used coconut oil for lube baffled me i was like excuse me coconut oil he was like coconut oil is the shit it's coconut oil you got to use coconut oil and then i was like that doesn't seem right. Like, you're telling me that I could use food stamps to buy sex lube? That don't seem right to me. I don't- it seems sus, I guess. Anyway, my vote's gonna be coconut oil because of that video. Because <laughs> I just- I have to trust him, you know what I mean? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, due to the same makeup trends and beauty standards, a lot of people end up looking the same. Does it make the dice taste like- <laughs> Dude, I have no idea. I I don't know. Water-based lube is king. I like how we're, we're just, 
predictions in the chat, <laughs> right? But yeah, they were malnourished, right? Eating disorders, so no one can maintain being that. Correct. Correct. No, it's like, it's like bodybuilding, right? It's keeping your, like, body fat percentage under, I feel like, 10, 8% maybe, it gets, like, really fucking hard to maintain. It's something you do for shows, and then you go back to, like, your normal physique. Totally not long-term. Or everybody trashes their fucking metabolisms. So I'm gonna say coconut oil. Let's see. Oh my god, bacon. Water. Alright, okay. Taisha? Okay. Alright, cool. Raven, good name. Alright. But what causes stuff to slip? We ask the scientist. When slipperiness occurs. When Dude, I want to be a scientist, and so somebody can be like, "What is the slippiest thing to use? What's the slipperiest thing that I'm able to use?" Can you give me a little bit of information on the slippy dippy? Oil-based and silicone-based lubes can give you very nasty allergies and unfortunately stain. That makes a lot of sense. I would probably have to agree with the water base because I also just feel like texture wise, oil just, I don't know. I don't know. They seem like girls they picked up from off the streets. You know what? This must be a nice little change of pace from the regular day job, though. You know? I've always thought about like, what if I hired a lady and instead of doing what is expected, what if I was just like, Go play some video games or something. You want to play? You want to play Mario Kart with me? Do you think men like lonely men just hire them for their like time and company and just have conversations? Like they just ask, "Hey, want fifty bucks?" and then off they went. Right? Yeah. Contact between two objects. You know what I'm saying? Like the best loop for these two objects, you need to measure its viscosity. Okay. You want a material that has a lot of viscosity. The higher the viscosity. Yeah, viscosity. The the okay. These two gorgeous grappling gowns are going to solve a centuries-old mystery. What are y'all gonna tell me mud? Because y'all wrong. Our pros need to mix up each material we test so that we can get an <laughs> Hold on! Are they just gonna be fucking like wrestling each other? Like what the hell? Is that what's going on? Kiwi! Hello, hello, Kiwi! How have you been on your social media detox? I'm glad to see you're alive. I'd be doing a little bit of that lurking on Instagram, of course, but thank you as much appreciated. And acquittance ended up with slightly greenish. Oh, after being itchy. Oh, no. Oh, no, dance. Oh, no. Also, Kiwi, uh, don't judge what's happening. <laughs> We're watching Mansers. I don't know if you know about Mansers. It's some like real cringy early 2000s like show. I'm watching little bits and pieces. Ugh, just uh, the energy of <sighs> by men for men. Like, there's actually a lot of stories of men and women hiring hookers to hang with them or vent to them. There was even one about a guy who became a slave regular, but very, very rarely did that. I feel like. If I had a bunch of money and I was lonely, I would do that. Just so I could be like, hey, you can have a chill night. You don't gotta do nothing. You can just have a chill night. It's fine. We'll hang. It's whatever. Tell me some life stories. Maybe that's the inner psychologist in me. I don't know. Anyway. The slippery substance. I feel like they're just going to be, like, wrestling. You know what I'm saying? And then they're gonna be like, this one's the most slipperiest. Accurate viscosity reading with our viscometer. Oh, but tell me the substances. They better wrestle in mayo, or am I gonna be so mad? A Pascal second is how far a liquid will make two objects slide against each other in one second. First up is ordinary. I'm sorry, that just looked like vomit. Just. Just needed to clarify that, okay? Um, what? <laughs> We're trying to figure out what the most slippery substance is. That's our disclaimer. Fight dirty! Uh, 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 uh. According 
to the University of- I just want to say that we all know obviously it's not gonna be mud and I'm disappointed. What does my mom want? Mom, I'm in the middle of something. Come on. <laughs> Prime television right here. I mean like men, you know? It's like hard music, women, wrestling, swimsuits. We got a brunette and we got a blonde. Like the the steam the stream preview looks like a reaction to a spicy video on the <laughs> Uh, remember when I actually went on corn- when I almost went on corn hub? Oh my god. Getting jacked, for real. Honestly, if I didn't have a soon-to-be GF I'd hire just to hang out with and be able to have someone to talk- Bacon! You can- you, you and your girlfriend can hire somebody to hang out with. Duh. In Missouri, mud is approximately 25% water. Right. 25% air, 45% minerals. Okay. Plant okay. Stop lying. I know they're not hitting each other. Alright, so this one didn't... Well, you have to be more specific on the loop. Okay, water-based. Thank you. Alright. Hire a friend. Yes, yes, exactly. They got a brunette and a blonde? Where's the all chest sizes matter here? That's what I'm talking about. I mean, they kind of do. They got real, they got fake, they got bigger. They, I mean, they got a little variety, I guess. The dark ages from which Jerry Springer and Maury rose, exactly. Uh. This looks like it would be dangerous if I'm gonna be real with you. Sexual lube, not wholesome lube. Water-based lube is approximately 45% water, 35% glycerin, and 20% antiseptic additives. Oh, so there's no air. Kind of weak. So is lube the best stuff for a badass bait bro? Dude, this looks Our fucking disgusting. For our next substance, just water? High and low for something very viscous and bizarre. And we found... Coal tar! Bro, what the hell? Coal tar? No, no. Dude, girls, it is not worth getting cancer for this. I just want to say. The chest size doesn't make you less slippery. <laughs> Warning, coal uh, tar is dangerous and carcinogenic. Don't, go don't make them go in it. So are these sexy ladies really wrestling in coal tar? Right. As far as you're concerned, they are. Coal tar is a byproduct of coal gasification. Okay, so they're not. You lied to me. The hell if you want to bet they got can- No, don't say that. Come on. I already feel like breast implants already are kind of like a health concern that people should not be dealing with. Gosh. Coal tar is made up of lots of nasty chemical crap. Mainly 29% phenols. They should not be in that at all. But I'm, you're right. Let's... All right, that's enough. The slipperier the substance. They're fucking liars. I know. According to our viscometer, mud measures in at 135 pascal seconds. That's pretty slippery. So I'm gonna astro slide. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's astro slide. Next, we tested water-based sexual lubricant. It slips in with a viscosity of 12.5 pascal seconds. That's I'm not as slippery as mud. Oh. Let's so you should use mud for a lube. We pour it into the viscometer <laughs> and wait for the result. They don't need the gals to fight in it for a viscosity. That's what I'm saying. Will the number be higher? Yes! It's an astounding 30,000. Oh my god, we should be using coal tar for lube, you guys! Ugh, I'm so dense. Come on, don't tell me it's carcinogenic to the touch and not have people wrestle in it. You wrestle until someone gets cancer? Make it the slickest slop on earth! Coal tar wins! What is the slipperiest? Coal tar. Not hot. Looks nasty. 
they didn't teach you in school. So come back for more. Did they just cook a salmon on an ass? Ah! No, 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 no. Don't trust anything. 47 views? Don't trust it. I don't trust it one bit, bro. All right, all right. So coal tar is not at all what I was expecting and is dangerous, and I, I'm kind of... Like, what even just happened? Now I know what my new lube is. Right now I now I know what my next option's gonna be. Okay, I get it. What the fuck is like where would you get coal tar? I need to have coal tar shampoo? What? A thick dark liquid by which it is a byproduct production of coke and coal gas from coal. You can use it to treat psoriasis and dermatitis. You can buy it. You can buy it. All right. Wasn't expecting that for an answer, but you know what? Okay. All right. Okay. I get what you're throwing down. I get what's being thrown down here. It's the same thing with enriched uranium from reactors. Or, oh, no. Gives me cancer. I don't want to live past 50 anyway. 50 is the hard pass after that. Uh. Oh, my goodness. Okay. What's next? What should we do? Kiss of death? Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling the kiss of death. Okay. <laughs> this is too fucking much for me, bro. Eh, eh, we get it. We get it. We get it. All right. The straights are at it again. Oh shit, yeah, I could kiss somebody and then they could fucking die. Kind of epic. What is the kiss of death? Infectious mononucleosis. Mono? Plus the collapse of the ecosystem, making life unsustainable for human life. Okay, thank you, dance. Thank you. That is also a viable option. Romeo and Juliet moment? Dude, is this a th I know some people, apparently, they catch mono a lot. And I'm like, how the fuck do you catch mono? Ew. Ew. But a whopping 95% of American adults have had mono. So it can't Why? kiss that kills. What about the mafia? A kiss from the godfather means that you're gonna sleep with a bitch. But it takes a trigger man to do the dirty work. It's not a smooch from someone. Why do mono. people? Ugh, gross. Have you guys ever gotten mo mono? What is the kiss of death? The kiss that can kill is from the Reduvin bug. What the fuck, bro? Just kidding. You got a fucking insect. Hey, baby. The kiss of death is actually uh, the bite of the Reduvid bug, also known as the kissing bug. Why do they call the Reduvid bug the kissing bug? What does this even mean? What is that? This isn't hot at all. Ew, what the hell? This is disgusting. That's what you think of me, hey? What is the kiss of death? Uh, this bug actually is poisonous, and if he sucks on you, you'll fucking die. Is your lips are his. It eats lips? Soft, exposed flesh of human lips. <coughs> ew, 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 ew. No thank you. I'm okay. I'm alright today. I don't... Mm. It sticks them with a straw-like organ called a rostrum. And sucks out the blood! Cools up your face. This is fucked up. Stabs you around the lips. Sucks blood. As a quick poop. Mm. Did they just show this, bro? Did they just show that, dude? What? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Never. Banging a chick with crabs once. The old gods watched my back. I didn't. Well, that's good. That's good, Dan's. 
I got a kiss on the cheek from my godfather, but my brains were still contained in my head, so they clearly were intimidated. Or it could also be that they were just- Oh my god. Oh my god. They really fucking edited a bug shitting in her mouth. So the site of the bug bite gets contaminated with fecal matter, containing the parasite. Oh, he sucks on your mouth and then he shits in the wound. That's fucked up. So it's a kiss of death because he shits on you. It can affect all your vital organs, including your heart, and it can be lethal. This is not. Is found mainly in Mexico and South America, and according to the Centers for Disease Control, oh, I'm worried. It's responsible for 50,000 fatalities each year, all of them caused by a kiss from the Redubit bug. What is the kiss of death? The kiss of death is actually caused by the Redubit bug. I want to see what this is. I want to look at what this bug actually looks like. Just to say, Redubit bug? Like, what the hell? Oh my god, this thing is so tiny! What? This thing is absolutely m minuscule! Are you kidding me? He's such like a- he's a little baby. He's a little baby, man. He's a little size of a little penny. Pfft. What's he gonna do to me? I'm not gonna start nothing, actually. Don't fuck with me. I'm fine. I'm alright. I don't ever want to see him. But like... God, no wonder why people die. Who's gonna see that? Oh my gosh. I was expecting to be killed via Romeo Juliet. Oh yeah, hell yeah. But no, I can't have the love of my life kiss me and die. The tragedy. The sag. Huh. Is this syphilis that can make bacteria or parasites that slowly eat your brain? Oh, um, hmm, I'm not sure, actually. Syphilis. Eat. Eat away your nose? Oh, no. Oh, no. Neurosyphilis is a disease of the coverings of the brain and the brain itself or the spinal cord. It can occur in people with syphilis if they leave it untreated. You are right. Syphilis, if left untreated, could become neurosyphilis, and then you could die from it. Hmm. Hmm. Sheesh. God damn. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I'm not loving this bug story. Not sick. Not hot. Not loving it. How can you become a porktastic prawn star? Okay. Fuck. This sounds even worse. This sounds even more dumb, dude. Oh my goodness. I'm like, I okay, to be fair, I thought that one was gonna go somewhere funny instead of it being like kissing men. And then it's actually just dude, bugs. That's every man's dream. So how great is, is it? I don't ever want that man to ever look at me again. We asked Manuel Ferreira, the AVN male performer of the year, and star of over 860 films. Am I supposed to know him? Should I know these people? Syphilis eats everything it can get its hands on. Truly a hoe disease. Good lord. It appears so. Average week, have sex with at least five different women Get excited, dude. is that guy the og johnny sins i have absolutely no idea dude, dude you pork for a living. i can't fucking believe when i was playing fallout there was a guy named johnny johnny sins or something and i was just like where have i heard that name before and i thought about it way too I long sex with so many women for work that I can't really remember. There's a lot of girls. I definitely say it's the best job. <laughs> you can't get in better. <laughs> this adult film director. I don't know. I feel like that's misleading. I definitely know that the prawn industry is not going to be the best job in the world. It's actually like really fucking hard. And I feel like a lot of it's just like standing around. Imagine having to be fucking chubbed up for like hours at a time. Being a male 
porn performer is a great job. If you're a single guy, who wouldn't want to go around screwing beautiful women for a living? I mean, the idea sounds good, but there's a lot more to it. I feel like y'all are kind of being misleading. The porn industry is like very like advantageous on like a lot of the actors. As much as one hundred thousand dollars a year. They also don't get paid enough. Only a hundred k. Dude, if I was sticking my pee pee in like five girls a week and I was only making a hundred k, what kind of fucking risks is that, dude? No, they he. Dude, that's why having your own website now is sick. Just go on OF. You make so much more fucking money, and they have more control over it. Manuel is the hard dude. Johnny is an artist, but Manuel is the master craftsman. Manuel's rates go out. He's apparently good with quality before, during, after. What? What? <laughs> That's so detailed. Also, I think being a prawn will just be awful because if you get a you get old and you can't. Well, I mean, it's also like once you get into it, you can't really get out of it. People judge you. But I would also say just like in the acts, like I've watched documentaries where like it's very fucking physically like intensive. And it's like it's not just like like you are acting and performing and like you need to keep up your physicality super fucking well. And sometimes it's like you need to be fucking rock hard and ready to go like at a moment's notice. That includes making sure that your shit is like up and ready for like hours at a time during the entire shoot. So, how does a dude achieve like, the ultimate dream of drowning in cash and ass? The best way to become a male have a good, I don't know, just be lucky and be hung, I guess. The thing is now, anybody can. You know what you do? You take some pics. You post some thirst traps. You have a good time. Like. Porn star is following the rule of eights. The rule of eights! What? So what's the first eight to seal your porno face? Okay. You have to maintain an eight-inch direction for the reason simple. What? Or you have to be able to see it on film. <laughs> Those puny little seven inch wieners, no one's gonna see that. It has to be eight inches. Gosh, anything smaller and that microscopic shit, I wouldn't be able to see it with a fucking magnifying glass, dude. No one's gonna see that on camera. What? <laughs> what? That's not at all what I was. Okay, go off. Okay. Is a legend no is a legendary no problematic person. Well, good for him. He's the only dude in the U.S. and the EU that has that has to hand. Oh, interesting. I did not. Do you know this off like off the top, or are you researching this dance? That's a big beef bugle. That's a lot. A study published in the journal That's a lot. The average pro's bagpipe measures up at about five point oh eight inches, and only one percent of dudes have eight inches or more. Maybe because it's like an anomaly for both sides of people. I feel like being an anomaly, you'd have to find like a vaginal anomaly. No way did you just say trout tickler, bro. You have to live in the 818 area code. Because 90% of porn shoots in the world happen in the 818. Okay, that's a bit of a stretch, but okay. I'll admit I've seen prawns. Where I think one of them aren't enjoying either because it just doesn't feel good. Like it's just too physically demanding. Well, I mean, yeah, because it's all like a show, right? The whole point isn't necessarily like people feel good. The point is if it all looks good. And then you have people have unrealistic standards. You know what I mean? Like I've seen some shit where I'm like, that's a lot of fucking. That's like that is a physically tolling position. And like it might look hot, but I don't necessarily know if they're even able to fucking focus on what they need to be. You know, it's just an it's just a performance. It's like anything. Which covers the San Damn, you really nutted on fucking San Fernando, dude. It's very high to me because he makes it. not the oh. So when he works, you're going to get your money's worth. He shoot his shoots are longer, more physically demanding, but you always get okay. All right, okay. That's why I only watch homemade stuff. Yeah, that's fair, bacon. Fernando Valley, just north of Hollywood, California. So to get it on with a porn star, you gotta settle down in pound town. I mean, okay, so you gotta be in LA and you need to be hung, I guess. Imagine nutting on uh, San Fernando? I know. I know. I'm like... If your Excalibur passes the slam ham exam, and you have a house in the heaven of hotties, okay. the last date 
that will open the gate of the porn palace is so you need to be able to last 88 minutes of sex 88 minutes I'm constantly fantastic sex according to a study conducted at Penn State University okay. that sits for seven times longer than the average shagging session which only lasts 13 minutes I just want to say who the fuck is only boning for 13 minutes Like I don't I don't even understand mandatory to have marathon man meat. Like are y'all even like turned on after like 10 minutes Maybe I'm just maybe I'm an anomaly. Minutes is how long it takes to shoot a typical scene. And if That's not bad. Baby That's not bad at all. You get that means you're a premature ejaculate. Well, you could just nut multiple times. You get no work. Getting banned from this set would be a fate worse than death. How can you become a That porn doesn't All right, okay. These you know what? These are doable. The That's fine. Of becoming a porn star is following the rule of eights. So you have what it takes. Eight inch long, last 88 minutes, live in 818. A porn star point bar. Quit jerking and start working. I feel like there, oh, I feel like there's a lot more to being the, being a performer than that. People like quickly, they don't always have time. A porny before this can be something. <laughs> Well, I guess what I'm saying is they said average, and I'm like, so people just averagely just try to get a nut on quick? I don't know. I'm there for, like, an entire movie. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna, it's like, hello, we're gonna be here for a fucking while, dude. But maybe I'm just a fluke. I, I will admit that. Maybe I'm just a fluke. I don't know. Quickies? Nah, bro. Nah. How much is communion wine? Can I, oh, we already did that. Can a laptop lower your sperm count? Honestly, I'd want to know. Can a laptop make me infertile? Because that'd be pretty cool. I'm at an x prawn and they were actually really cool. We're just like, oh, yeah. I felt good. What's the time of the minute? Yeah. Most people don't have an hour to bang, especially if they have kids. Well, you know what? That's exactly why... <laughs> That's exactly why you shouldn't have kids, then. <laughs> oh that's funny goodness yeah no i feel like people who are in the industry are probably pretty cool at least you know they're probably really open-minded i want to be infertile because i enjoy my content on my lap right exactly dead ass exactly it's like i can browse the internet and i'm infertile like win-win for me dude ladies on your lap but could booting up your laptop shut down your iPod forever? Don't say iPod. How can a laptop lower your sperm? I didn't like that one one bit. Turn your hardware into software. But how? Hey, hey, hey! By cooking them with heat! <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, y'all really being like, your laptop will cook your nards. Uh, the way I bring the lighting in, th I am not finished after 45. This is some bomb ass or trash. <laughs> right, dude, yeah. Uh. I'm always here for that bomb ass, you know? Wait, if it gives me erectile dysfunction, then that's cringe. No, it, I think it just ruins your sperm count. So it just bakes your little spermies, I guess, and then they just eviscerate it and they're gone. They gone. They gone. Because the laptop gets hot. From laptop computers on scrotal temperature. Hey. When most dudes sit down, they keep their legs spread apart. Because dangers love cool drag. Okay, yeah. Put your legs together, add a computer on top, and it raises the temperature of your nuts by five degrees Fahrenheit. That much heat downs your load by 30%. That's so cool. Several months after exposure. How can a laptop lower your sperm count? By overheating your hairy hangers. Stop using these fucking words for things. Hairy hangers. I don't love that. I don't love that. Just just wanted to frankly clarify. I'm not loving that one bit. That is just absolutely too much for me, bro. Uh, like, 
Harry Hangers. I don't know. <laughs> Cooking these nuts for- yeah, yeah. Nothing is <laughs> like... <sighs> I'm really disappointed that they said that. I think that's what's bothering me the most. I don't know, man. But also, 13 minutes, I just- I don't know. That's not my party. I feel like it's like, nah, I'm here for like the whole fucking event, bro. It's like if it's like it's like a YouTube video. It's like I know I could watch it in two times feed and get the same information. But I wanna fucking enjoy the flick, bro. I wanna be entertained for a long time. How much boob is more than a handful? Do I Where's the best place to take a bullet? Yeah, actually, I wanna know that. What is the best place to take a bullet? Now that's something I wanna know. Now that's something that I think is important. Okay. Where would be the best place? Where would I hypothesize a bullet be the best place? The thigh? No, because there there's like a major artery there, right? I don't... An arm? America can be a gun-crazed, violent place to live. The FBI has Always. The Imagine they say... <laughs> fucking Harry, what'd they say? Harry Knocker? What the fuck? Harry... Of them with I don't even need to remember. That's 28 Americans dying per day from gun violence. What else is new? Y'all really said RIP on gun violence. The new West is pretty much like the old West. Anyone could get caught in the crossfire and get capped. So your life might depend on knowing the answer to this question. Where's the best place to take a I'm going to vote the arm. The best place to take a bullet is in your lake. What's the worst thing that could happen if you got shot in the leg? It breaks my fucking, I don't know, it hits my femur bone. It hits my, like, <clears throat> my my major vein artery. Wrong. Right? ER to get the truth. You can do a lot of damage in the leg. In fact, you can die from a gunshot wound to the femoral artery, which can bleed out very quickly. So it looks like the leg isn't the best place to take a Right, that's what I was thinking. Bullet. Any other ideas? Arm? Anybody can survive a bullet shot to the head. You can survive it, but... My man really said the best place to take a bullet is the head? Did he hear like one person get shot in the head and lived and was like, yeah, that's it. Are you kidding me? I'd rather have like my hand shot. People get shot in the head are usually organ donors. Only a few percent of those people survive. Yeah. To the Baltimore Suns research, like no. Five percent of people shot in the head live. The best place to take a bullet, definitely. That guy had to be crunk. If you're gonna get shot. The best place to get shot is the ass. He's got a lot of cushion there, man. The ass. You know, I never considered. No dice, dude. Bullets from consumer weapons can travel up to three thousand feet per second. So if you get shot in the ass, the force oh. of the bullet can cause temporary cavitation by crushing fatty tissue and traumatizing the nearby vertebrae which can gets paralyzed you and your ass is worse, fucked up that sucks and hit you in the crotch as demonstrated here with this banana not good so dudes the best place ain't the butt either my fucking god the best place to take a bullet be in my chest i can bench like 450 ew bro are these people real yeah, dude, I could totally take a fucking bullet to the chest because, like, I'm totally benching 450. Fuck you or not, bet. So is the stomach or the chest the best place to take a bullet? What's the answer? He really thinks that because he has muscle, he's just no bulletproof. The abdomen's still not so good because you can hit liver, spleen. I'm going arm. Chest has a lot of maybe hand. You can sort of have a shot to, to the head, but it's like a very specific place in the brain where you have a chance of- The fact that he thought of, like, out of all the places to get shot, he went in the head. Like, yeah, people have survived, but out of every single place, you'd be willing to get shot in the head, dude? It's the back, the scalpular heart? Oh, alright. I would take your word for it, Dan, just because I know I feel like your big brain when it comes to- Tactical well, shit. Those are things you don't want to shoot because those bleed okay. out very quickly and you can die from that. Right. Hey, it's dangerous out there. So if it ain't the leg, the back. butt, stomach, or chest, then what's the deal? Is there a best place to take a bullet? Probably not. If you have to take a bullet, it's probably the best place would be your arm. Ah, bingo! The arm! Ah. That way you wouldn't sustain.
sustain much damage. He's right because there are no vice. Guys, it's the arm, dude. <laughs> Ozo, hello, hello. How's it going? How's it going, Gaff? How you doing? <laughs> well, yeah, your bicep. Yeah, I, that's my. That's what I thought. I mean, I feel like you probably have a good bet for the second one. Although I, I don't. I feel like they considered like the chest to count as the back too. I feel like they were just like torso. No. -uh. Final organs near your arm. Just better hope the bullet doesn't sever your blood vessels and crush your. I'm bone. like. The thigh is the, the second, surely? Or the ass? Oh, you didn't see the so They said the femoral artery is in the thigh. So you wouldn't want to get shot in the thigh because you could hit your femoral artery and bleed out, I guess. And then if you got shot in the ass, it would cause, like, fucking pressure from, like, the fat in your ass and it could fuck up your spine. And then I guess you could die that way. There's a story where this lady shot her husband in the head. He woke up and did something like, damn, I got a migraine. <laughs> uh... Can you hit arteries everywhere? Yes. I think the point is because I think the femoral artery is like directly connected to the heart. So you would just like, you would definitely bleed out if it was like, hey, like you definitely bleed out and die. I think if you like hit shit in your arm, it's like not great, but you could probably just fucking tie it up, you know, and then you'd be fine. Also, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's my thought, though. That's what I'm thinking. The best place to take a bullet in, your in the back. You have the shoulder bones, the ribs, and the thoracic cavity. You know, you know, I will say, Dance, I will say, Dance, that I believed you. And now I'm gonna check it to see if it's true. Best place to get shot. At least, I wouldn't even- Where's the best place to take a bullet? Based on location, all they do is the vital organs. Your hands or feet. That's not a fun answer, dude. That's not fun. Are you kidding me? I I would say more than likely, since you're probably not going to get shot in the hand, you're probably right, Dance. Like, that would probably be a good way to turn. If you're going to get hit, that would probably be the best way to minimize max damage. I'd rather have my pinky shot in movies and a TV so it shoots to the shoulder seems safe. You know what? That's a good point. Yeah, like, people always kind of get clipped on the shoulder and stuff. Yeah, no, that's totally valid. Yeah. I think that would make- Yeah. Arm. The arm. Ugh. Uh. Yeah, I could see that. Shoulder for sure, for sure. Hmm. What's the most effective? Which stall is the cleanest? Actually, fuck it. I'm kind of curious. Because I'm, I'm a dirtbag, you know? Is the answer for nine million, not for bigger stuff. Otherwise, you would like. Ooh, that is definitely a good. You know, it sounds like there's a lot of variables, and they're just trying to make a mediocre. I feel like a little skit. You know, I'm in Ireland. We don't have guns, so I don't know enough about bullets to contribute any further. I am honestly better with a fucking bow than I am a gun. So there's nerves in the armpit. So I'd say shoulders risky. You might permanently lose feeling in your arm. I think the best answer here is to not get shot. <laughs> I think I think what we're looking at here is just don't get shot. That triple chili cheeseburger tasted. That looks fucking disgusting. Good Sorry. Going down. But now there's a brown bomb forcing its way out of your missile silo. <laughs> I've never heard a more violent way to describe shitting what the fuck is this show um this show is basically like early 2000s america i think is the best way to like describe that all in one oh goodness i'm willing to take my chance with a 50 cal shot from 10 15s in my back rather than a nine mil machine i mean hey fair enough i've been here but it's just ridiculous. It's awful, but good. That's exactly where I'm at, Gab. It's like... Quick, you gotta choose the first. Oh, wait, shit. I feel like I've seen this. I've seen this before. What's the best option for the stall? The first stall, or would that be too dirty? The big stall, or does everybody usually go for that stall? You can't think about it. You have to shit in one of the stalls. Which is the best one to go for? I personally would go for the second one. Because I feel like nobody uses that. The middle or the back stall. I'm gonna go middle. Pick the wrong one. 
I'm gonna go for the second one. Which stall is the cleanest of all? That's my bet. Finding the most pristine pooper ain't just for germaphobes. I go, yeah, yeah, middle for sure. Bacterion toilets, just waiting to bite you in the butt. Fecal bacteria is the bacteria that you find in your feces, and that includes... I will say, though, imagine going to school, like, you have, like, your doctorate, you know? Like, you're going through all of this. And then, like, you have people call you up, and then somebody's like, Hey, do you know which toilet I should shit in? Like, imagine becoming a whole microbiologist. Like, you have the whole degree, and then somebody's like... Which pooper is the cleanest pooper? E. coli and salmonella that can cause severe diarrhea. Like, I would just... Jeez. Crapping can kill! According to the Centers for Disease Control, bacterial infections... Middle of the last almost always is used by drug addicts, and the closer to the exit is people in a hurry. To deal some heavy damage? Fuck public bad they knew they were a mistake, dude. Over 7,200 people every year. What? Now Some everyone's dying from shitting? Could be a matter of life and death. Oh my god, no they're not. Killer germs that can bite you. I heard this story once about somebody who used a public gas station bathroom and there was crabs on the toilet seat, and then they got crabs. And then I ended up realizing that I have a mild fear, and now I always have to wipe them off and like put fucking toilet paper on the toilet seats because of that. Fuck it, shitters. Come on, yeah. sign. Come on. Not which stall is the cleanest of all? Sweet Two. The world-renowned expert on excretion, the Doodoo Man. You don't do my man bold like that. Omar, and I'm a doodooologist. You really called him the shit man. Come on. I've been working as a janitor for 20 years, so I know everything. What the fuck is this editing, dude? Only too many farts can give you heart attacks, so yeah, you can die from shit. And that's just the way they make it sound. I like, yeah, I guess. Eating food, food will kill you. I went to the toilet stool and I saw some regurgitation and stuff, and looked like somebody had said it. Sorry, we asked, doo doo man. So is the middle stall the purest public poop pen? According to a study published in the journal Psychological Science, if a public bathroom has three adjoining stalls, the one in the middle is used the most. What? No! No! I'll be honest, I always use the third stall. Then the middle stall goes to the most TP. Three times more than the other stall. Why? For the study, people tend to pick the middle option because subconsciously it's easier to choose than the extreme. That I always pick the big stall. The Just to be honest, that's my transparency. Is the back stall the best battle station to blast off your butt butter? <laughs> the back stall is not the cleanest because people feel they can hide in that stall. They always feel they can be in secret when they do their little doo doo thing. It's for this okay. from the door, making it feel safer. Yeah, so yeah. People use the back stall almost as much as the middle one. It's number two in dirtiness when it comes to number two. So, the cleanest commode. That so you're telling three. me to go to the one in a rush? People mistake the first stall as being the dirtiest because they think that everybody goes to the first stall, but they're mistaken. Microbiologists at the I don't know if I like that information very much. I don't know. I'm not. Mm, I don't know how much I can believe this. University of Arizona. I feel like it just depends on the area. Yeah, they fucking pour spaghetti on the toilet. And found like. X to doubt, Deadly yeah. Deadly bacteria in the first stall every time. I don't know. Which stall is the cleanest of all? I've checked like all stalls, and I feel like that is not the truth. Also, Iron Hand, hello, hello, how you doing stall today? Number one is the clean. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I think the first stall is the worst. You know why? Because I have checked every single stall to make sure, and there's always shit in the first stall. I feel like the first stall, no one ever flushes. And then the second stall, someone always pisses on the seat. 
You piss on the seat, bacon. <laughs> uh, by their logic, since the second one is the most used in restunk, then it must also be the most seat. Exactly. Then if that's the case, then people are gonna be making sure. Yeah. This doll in the bathroom. The next time your bowels are about. Fine, the next time I need a shit, I should just go to the closest one. I feel like the first stall is guaranteed for all the diarrhea. Like, honestly, that has to be it, right? Like, I don't feel like there's any other option. No, I gotta layer toilet paper. Yeah, yeah, because some people just want to piss on the seat and they don't do anything about it. Oh. Oh, I've been wanting to watch this one actually. This one I'm excited about. This one I'm this one I'm pretty excited about. She gets men to come to her place. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Why they do her like that? A video camera and drops a whole bunch of kink on them. So what the hell is a crushing video? Basically, a crushing video is some guy that's got a big schlong. You know. I like the way this guy thinks. A little, a little OG Mudbone? A little OG Mudbone over here? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Sure, dude. Would be crushing little heads. Is it like when you drop your tits on something and it gets crushed? Are we talking about like the real like fucked like deep web crushing videos? Crushing video is when several midgets pack themselves in We don't use that term anymore. a very small car and drive it into a wall. No, dudes, you're all wrong. A crushing video is where a woman crushes the crap out of guys, and the guys like it. Hey, we don't make this stuff up, we just report it. And this chick is boring. huge. Next to the average American woman of... This isn't even a fair comparison. You know for an absolute fact, she's wearing tall ass shoes. Five foot four, Bunny Glamazon is 6'11 in my heels, long way up. No fucking way, 6'11 in heels, no fucking way, dude. 6'11? But it's worth the climb. Bunny Glamazon, the fucking name. And Bunny weighs in at 235 pounds. Eh, I mean, she's 6'11. Number one, the nut. You know what? I will say, she's not even wearing tuna stilettos. Medicine. Your balls are protected by thin but strong layers of tissue called tunica vaginalis. Yes, we said tunica vaginalis. Stop. Look it up. It would take Guys, check out this. Guys, check out this. We said vaginalis. Oh my god. 110 pounds per square centimeter of force or the strength of 14 bunny glamazons to actually crush this guy's balls. So he's cool. Here's number two. Trample. Big bad bunny mashes this guy's head. Bro, she's not even wearing shoes. Don't fret, dude. According to results from an experiment conducted- What's this even gonna do? Who can- Dude, it- if she's not wearing stilettos to puncture something, is it even worth the payment? Come on. How boring. There are a bunch of Cartman who went to college to study science. <laughs> oh no, Bacon, you got the ad. Oh no. What time is it? Oh, like midway? You know, I've been fucking forgetting to run my like three minute little ad thing when i first start because then it like fucking skips it for a while because it's like when am i starting ad over good because when i starting screw soon screens on it's like might as well Firstly, it would take a minimum of 298 pounds of compressed force to fracture a human skull and with bunnies 235 pounds this guy's in the clear for now and what's the third entree on the bunny menu suffocation without oxygen okay i don't feel like this is much of any this is even really doming i don't even really feel like this is doming she's just being nice and stepping on some dude i mean hell what next she's gonna crack his back or something oh no hypoxia can occur bunny could off this guy in three minutes but for these freaks it's not about that it's about this <sighs> Also, a lot of people like pressure. That's why they have like super heavy weighted blankets. 
It's not an uncommon thing. It's just one that can tape it. So you can enjoy it over and over and over. Get a hobby, dude. This is his hobby. Let the man live his best life. Come on. Come on. Get a hobby, dude? He's living his best fucking life. Are you kidding me? 6'11? God damn. God damn. Like, sheesh. I'm absolutely surprised. Are you kidding me? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no. Should we have some ones that I I feel like could be contra- Yeah, okay. Some of these seem- These seem really ridiculous. These seem absolutely stupid. I feel like I'm watching American Pie. She's 6'9 without her heels, apparently. Only three inches? That's not too much at all. Mancers is not making me not enjoy life. So Mancers is making me enjoy life. Because double negative is a positive. Dom said it's mostly psychological. Some people get up by sucking toes or I mean, I guess. I guess, Dance. I guess. Your babe was wild in the sack until you married her. Now we're gonna do the, I'm a man and I hate my wife because I'm a man. And so I have to hate my wife. Come on. What Mancers is now making me not enjoy life. What, why, why bacon? Your babe was wild the my best. babe, my wife was so cool. And then I married her and, and now so she's not her. cool in the bed. Now you're begging like a Dalmatian at the dinner table. Don't marry her then. Answers are Christian boys. I'm like, There's gotta be a way to make her go from prude to in the mood. Maybe you're bad. I got an idea. Uh, one, maybe you're bad. Uh, two, uh, maybe you have completely different sex drives, so she doesn't want a bone. Ever consider that? Three, medication can fuck with your libido. Same with your health. To get in your girl's pants. Secret is talk about it. If she magically changes to be a completely different person after you're married, you got fucked. Bail. I don't enjoy it because it's mancers. The last three sentences shriveled my balls. <laughs> I'm just like liquor. Lick her or alcohol. Buy me a gift. Oh. Damn, people really out here having to buy it? Dude, dead ass? Uh, wooing her. So what's the best way to get her in- The fact that they went get her drunk, buy me st- Oh my fucking god, what is up with hetero people sometimes? Dude. The mood to put out. Is it exercise? Will a little pumping get her humping? We asked the sex therapist. Yeah, exercise is cool, I guess. Actually, exercise can increase- yeah, sex therapist! Woo! I thought it'd be cool to be a sex therapist, not gonna lie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Dance. I'm like, really? Female libido. When you're getting good cardiovascular exercise, you're- Whoa, you mean if you're healthy and you have that fucking hella endurance for boning? Better blood flow. Not to mention increased confidence. And according to the University of Texas, women who sweat 20 minutes a day are 30% more likely to get aroused. To get an erection. Ah, yeah. But there's a catch. Okay. One negative consequence to encouraging your girlfriend or your wife to exercise is she's twice as likely to experience some kind of a physical injury. Yeah. Is that even a real weight? Uh Oh no, I lifted 20 pounds and now my arms are broken. Whatever will I do? Because my boyfriend has to encourage me to lift weights. Because why else would I want to work out other than to want to bone him and please him? Oh my god, that's a fucking that's fake. A that's fake. Encouraging your girlfriend or your wife to exercise is she's twice as likely to experience some kind of a physical injury. Yeah. Oh! Dude, what's happening? Lift a barbell. It's not hard. Hey, men and women libidos are debunked by a Spanish study. Women who experience orgasms in their early sex experience have the same libidos as men. That's my- it's literally just like, if both people are coming, then they're both gonna have a good time. Period T. 
if you condition somebody to be disappointed by the experience, then they're probably not gonna dig it. Damn! We like girls getting plastered, but not like this. What about They really up and said Maybe she could work out, but then what if she gets injured? Y'all aren't boning anyway, who cares? According to the Mayo Clinic. Am I supposed to rub testosterone cream on my boobs? Testosterone is a vitally important element when it comes to sexual arousal in both men and women. But there's a down. I fucking swear to God. I swear that if they're like, if she has testosterone cream and then they give her like fucking facial hair or something or like switch it to a dude in a wig, I'm gonna be mad. Two most common negative side effects of testosterone. She's gonna be pissed. Too much testosterone makes you mad. Therapy, increased acne and facial hair. <laughs> I knew it! I knew they were gonna say who's a fucking beard. Too much testosterone can also make you more mad. So testosterone cream won't achieve every man's dream. And more acne? It's not exercise. And it sure as hell ain't testosterone cream. I mean, you could take a testosterone booster if you want. Too much testosterone makes you- That's right. I was like, y'all fucking kid, oh, really. What's the secret to getting in your girl's pants? Tell me. The trick that every guy wants to yeah. What's no. the answer? I'm dying the to know. To literally charm a chick's pants off is to wash them first. Helping your girlfriend or your wife with the housework is going to result in more. Dude, what the fuck is even happening here? Big juice? I don't even know what to say, my guy. I'm so fucking speechless. Did they really say the best way to get in your girlfriend's pants is to be an adult? Is that what they said? I mean, I didn't know if they were being like, be frisky on the washing machine, or if they meant like, hey guys, you know what would really turn your girlfriend on? If you finally picked up all of your shit on the ground. It's like, you know what I mean? Oh, big juice. Oh my god. All right. I'll give you your little bit of attention, since you must not have enough women in your life, okay? Uh, all right, goodbye. Hmm. Well, I hope that really gets his socks off for him because he finally got to interact with someone that he perceived as female. What a person. Since I don't want to assume it's a man, because that that'd just be a little that'd be a little derogatory. Oh, what happened? Uh, I'm pretty sure the guy was just trying to be like a- He said something about an asshole and then also about a whale. I'm assuming fat probably didn't work for him first, but... You know, he got- he got his little bit of attention, I guess. So that's something for him. Maybe he finally got a little half chub from not getting any fucking attention from anybody. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, while I'm here, let me make sure that my, uh... Command is working. I must refresh. I did not see those. Nah, you good. Uh oh. Man, why does this always happen? I always try to get my clip thing to work, and then it ends up just being a little silly. Mix it up developer app APAs are not working. Bro, yes, there is. Mix it up is literally. Oh. Actually, that's my fault. I'm wrong. Come on, mix it up, please. Let's, I'm not gonna, okay. We're good now. All right. And now we're good. All right, it's all set up now. Sick. Anyway, let's get back to what we were doing. What is the secret being nice to your girlfriend? According to Arizona State University, 100% of women surveyed said that when their guy cooked, did laundry or clean the house. That yes, no, that's they're not they're not saying like the dishwasher thing dance. That's my thing. They're literally like 
If you're an adult, that's a turn on. Increase the likelihood of them having sex with him. Also, it's like he does the dishes once and he's like, but blowy, please. Damn, you gotta love those on. <laughs> gonna be alleviating a lot of her stress and her exhaustion from doing all of those chores. But how much cleaning does it take to get her in bed? The formula is simple. The more housework you do, the more sex you're gonna have. For every hour you're a domestic slave, you get two more trips to the love cave. Y'all dead ass with me. What's the secret to get in your girl's That's not pants? Wash them first. Then you're the one that'll be getting down. Like, fine, whatever. Do it on the washing machine. But literally being like, babe, if I finally put the dishes away, will you have sex with me now? Babe, if I actually, if, babe, if I actually pick up my clothes, will you want to touch me again? Being clean, being nice, and being available. And somehow a female emotional emotionality or physically attractive you will have some... Right. I've never heard something so stupid. I know. It, like, common sense. Uh, be a human being, be a normal person, and you, you should be fine. Oh my god, I never see my little Kappa Man do a little- oh my- that's kind of cute! I love that. That's cute. Me when I'm like, wow, Kappa Man, so cute. Ban someone. Oh, fuck, I can't with this video. I absolutely can't with this video. I don't... You know what, maybe this will be an interesting talking piece, actually. But I will say, I don't know why, like, the biggest thing is, like, dudes being like, what if I help around the house, then people are going to be interested in me? That's so weird. It's like, how do I get women to like me? What? I actually have to shower regularly and smell good and actually talk to them? Why would I do such a thing? Ugh, I actually have to, like, be a receptive person? And help help around the house sometimes you mean her having to do all of the chores and take on all the responsibilities is really stressful that's so weird you mean only i can't nut what you hang out slash live around here right it's like you guys live together it's like my wife won't sleep with me and it's kind of like i don't know if women are attracted to men that remind them of children I don't think it's a turn on to have to be someone's mother. Kind of common sense. Excluding like a mommy kink, right? I guess we're going to exclude that like from in a daily daily life sort of thing. Like These hotties are all guaranteed home runs. Into... What, huh? What was that? What? <sighs> I can't fucking hear him. Okay. Okay. That just doesn't add up. How's it going? How's it going, Jupacabra? Ask. All right, I got I got an idea for everybody. Um, a surefire way would be to ask. What does that mean? Can they elaborate more on what that means? Can they elaborate more on what they meant by that? Pick up a college chick. Pick up a girl who's young, naive, preferably a freshman, barely 18, doesn't know any better. You should really prey on her and then ask her if she wants to do butt stuff. I can elaborate, but it's unpleasant. Like... up on their studies Forget backwards. It, dude. You can leave her in the dust. Hey. Brazilian babes are known to like that kinky stuff. But according to the University of California, San Francisco. What the fuck is happening? I don't under just 
Go on grinder. Be like I'm a top grinder. I don't know. Really? That many Brazilian girls? What fucking statistic is this? Can I see the study? Like... Target minority, especially young and impressionable. Dude, that's what I'm fucking saying. I'm like, wow. Great. No one with a Chrysler Sebring Wait, I thought we were gonna be progressive for us. I thought we were gonna be kind of progressive. I was like, okay, little auto feel. Okay, all right, go off. Oh, I avoid the warranty. Not worth it then. Mechophilia. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Go off. Go off, okay. Dudes would literally fuck their cars instead of getting therapy. Dead ass. Dead ass. He's like, oh, I couldn't target some fucking impressionable women? Eh. <laughs> that, that fucking exhaust looking pretty good, though. Also, God, one of the reasons why I think it'd be so fucking funny to be a sex therapist, dude. Oh, the stories they must have. The absolute stories they must have. Oh my god. Maybe someday. Don't tickle the tailpipe like that. Bro, you fucking know a car better than you know a fucking human lady. Yeah, am I going to be getting some- you know what? Maybe this is important information. I'll take it. I heard about this edition from- For a good thing for Trent, based on a- Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Huh. Huh. I- I guess, yeah, Transformers, eh? I don't know what I've been working on lately. I've been making custom cards for a card- Oh, yeah, you've talked- I've talked about your card game before, Bacon. How is the progress going? Also, still fuck me. Started off offensive and then ended confusing. But either way, I'm here for you. you know what I'm saying the one trans. No, no. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why I talking about Stickman? I'm talking about Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh, elaborate. Like custom art and everything. Or. What of custom Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Huh. That was awesome drama. Was it? Mm -mm. What kind of meat do cannibals prefer to eat? You know I gotta see that. You know I gotta fucking... What? Hold on. I do not. Never. When your international flight crashes in the mountains, the only thing left to eat is each other. I think it was the thumbnail, if I'm gonna be honest. I would make my own archetype? Ooh, that sounds pretty cool. Oh my god, this seems fucking loud. Oh shit, sorry bro. Over here, this is thumbnail. What the fuck just happened? I... 
accidentally, I accidentally skipped forward. Things exploded. We're learning about cannibals, and I'm when curious. Okay. Wink, wink. Which nationality will taste the best? What nationality will taste the best? Are you saying, like, what type of food group would make the meat taste Do better? Animals prefer to eat? Nationality that would taste best to cannibals would definitely be Indian people. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I would link them in chat, but I don't need you clicking on my account and seeing what other things I part. What? <laughs> what bacon? Because they eat a lot of spicy food. I love Mexican food, and I think we'd probably taste the best. The Americans would taste the best because they're a little heavier and a little meatier. The Smithsonian Institute reports that some of the world's last remaining cannibals... I don't know what would eat. Cannibals' favorite meat is pig. There's a reason why it's called long pig. Nationalists who taste the best. Well, didn't know it was possible to be right. I didn't know it was going to go that way at all. I thought they meant, like, animal. I post them on Reddit. Oh, and you're like, I don't want you going into my Reddit. Okay. I get you. Okay. That's Olga. I don't think so. Yes. I don't know, I feel like- I don't really like fatty meat, so that's probably just me, but... I wouldn't like that. No. Sexy nurses pog. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Is it offensive to wear the tribal paint? No! The Korowai said that their own people taste like cassowary and ostrich like bird. So they ain't the best either. Okay, I don't get why sexy nurse time during the race is cannibal art. Yeah, I don't find the answer. You've gotta fly halfway around the globe because cannibals prefer I'm not even sure what to say to this because I'm like I don't have Japanese! Because they're healthy? Why? A brainy nutritionist explains. Cannibals in Papua New Guinea believe Japanese people are the best tasting people on earth. Sumo? Because their diets were high in protein, Clean. low in sodium, and minimal fast food. Eat all your Japanese. Oh, so the goal is to be good tasting to cannibals. This is messed up. I didn't know it would take this route at all. Or you're not getting dessert. But I'm here for it, I guess. I'm honestly expecting that Japan people would be the one. Yeah. Tender oh. I mean, I guess if I would have to think of, like, really good, clean diets, I suppose. You know, that, that makes sense. I just really, really was not thinking that we would go that way. Hmm, what's the best way to kick the crap out of somebody? This could be fun. This is just sexual fetishism. I, I, it's, I really thought they were gonna be like, what animal tastes the most similar to people? You know? Okay, the punching makes it sound sissy. It makes it sound like they're just tapping each other. Thanks for the warning. A guy could try the ultimate wrestling move. The Powerball! No one fights In a like real this. Fight, there won't be enough time for that. Maybe the best way to kick the crap out of somebody is the white lotus. I mean, I would try a piece, so so we should go back to Jubilee. Oh my god, you wanna go to Jubilee? What do you wanna do on Jubilee, actually? I'll I'll I I will consider that. We can break it up a little. The question is What a about Jubilee, do we think would be a good one to jump on to? Hmm. Hmm. I would try a piece. Oh no. 
Country teens versus city teens? Vegans versus hunters? Oh my god. Could that be interesting? Would y'all even care about eating- about the argument of eating animals as being wrong? Because I've been on, like, both sides. Unless you have a good left-right hook, start with the throat punch and then combo the plug so you can get someone on their knees in seconds. Oh. Mm. Why do you want the bloods versus crips? Is that even a thing? Blood rappers versus crap. Oh, can rival gangs coexist peacefully? I mean, I can watch it, but I don't know if I have a huge hmm. opinion on it, to be fair. No gang members, please. Gosh, come on. Let's watch the throat punch, or if there is a throat punch, because we started it, and I want to know. And then after this scene, we'll we'll do it. Maybe we'll do like teens, cons teen liberal teens, conservative parents. Vegans versus hunters sounds fun. Okay, all right. Because I've been on both sides, and I feel like okay. Just tell me. I want to know. Okay, I'm not threatened by that. If some steroid ridden freak is just begging for a beatdown. <laughs> Seemed a little feisty. I don't know. Would be to. What? It's to actually kick the crap out of him! You really tell me to kick someone in the asshole? How is that possible? Get it! I get it! He's pooping! Oh my goodness. Dude, I really don't believe that grown men love this. I feel like this is the type of shit that, like, 12-year-olds watch. You know what I mean? That's genuinely, like, my first thought, right? Oh, more posi body positive versus fitness enthusiast? Interesting. Okay. Let's do the vegan one. Because I, I think I'm kind of interested in the vegan one, if I'm gonna be honest. Do all vegans think the same? No. Six million blah blah blah. <coughs> Excuse me. Vegans versus meat eaters. Is eating animals wrong? Oh, this might be a little Voice better. No, I don't think eating animals is wrong. If it, it was a dare to let someone kick my anus and then you shat? Oh no. I know how to punch the nerve between the thumb and the rest of the fingers. It hurts like a... Mmm. Mmm. So we just want to take a moment to say thank you to us and we really work with the business wants program things in the skill actually can quickly read up pot using i know come on learn, like okay. this episode all right we'll see you next time if you. we were all born like three centuries from now the world has been globalized and like okay. agriculture can reach every corner of the globe how would that affect if at all your views or your choices am i going to be judged if i say not at all <laughs> I will say, why do they say vegans versus hunters? Why not just like vegans versus like meat eaters? I became vegan because I could no longer think about eating something that was once living and breathing. The primary thing that keeps me vegan is just always the animal liberation. The idea that we- I don't like the arguments that vegans usually make when it comes to this. Cause like I was a vegetarian for like like 11 years or something but i don't think ever once i was like eating meat is wrong i think the point is just like unethical fucking food is wrong but there's but like we're obviously omnivores you know right about for the thumb bone and the rest of the finger not just apply pressure with the hooked finger ow i ain't gonna stop eating my meat it's like like, I can understand where they're saying, like, seeing the production of meat, I've always found, I've always felt was, like, really fucking gross, and I think that's what caused me. Like, not because eating meat's wrong, but more like the production of meat is, like, nasty. Exactly. Like, in, like, spend a little bit more money to make sure that it's, like, good, and I'm not eating animals that are being, like, force-fed shit that they're not even supposed to eat, so that way they can be, like, beefier, and then they inject dyes in it. Like, no. We are trying to- And, like, torturing animals, and animals having to be, like, knee-deep in their own shit. That's fucked up. Push 
our ideas onto others. That stereotype I've experienced the most. Hunting is a very hard concept for people to understand. I am in Texas. Oh God. Oh God. I mean, I'm, I, I, okay, okay. It's more acceptable, even though being a woman. Is it more expensive? Hell yeah, does it make you feel like a good person? Hell yeah, exactly, Bacon, exactly. Months, people still, Haunts. you know, have a really hard time with that concept. I feel like a lot. I think growing up, I never really thought it was that, like, I knew everybody hunted. People. Yo, his shoes are sick. Vegans. Yo, what the fuck? His shoes are sick, dude. Are more effeminate, people will question your sexuality. Excuse me. I mean, I have noticed a lot of the LGBT tends to be vegan and vegetarian. Maybe an empathetic thing. I don't know. The fact that me comes from living creatures gave it a sick one. Oh my goodness. Also, they kind of taste a little. Yeah. Yeah. Oftentimes. I grew up in a rural village living off the land. The way we live is a total respect to the animals and I think there's so much that people do not know about indigenous culture. Like, well, is she uh, vegan? She's milk. a I was gonna say, you should respect animals too. I hate like wasting shit. I don't like the idea of like killing an animal just to like take select parts. All of it should be used properly. I think disrespecting the life and fucking, that's dumb living off the land the way we live is it's like the fact that some place will literally be like we don't want boy chicks and they'll just fucking grind it up respect ridiculous the animals and i think and i don't eat dairy because so i just don't really care do for not. dairy shit does not digest properly it is the fear it heavily influences say so you need to be quick when you kill about indigenous culture i just animals should have a good life while they're alive On it. That's that's honestly. There's not a lot of people actually in this though. I wasn't able to attend the day of filming, but we still love the conversation. Wanted to share it with you. Oh, my name is Danny. Uh, I'm queer. I'm vegan, and I'm multiracial. Hi, my Makes name is sense. John uh, I've been a vegan for coming on six years now. I was also a vegan for a bit too. I'm a freelance photographer, and I recently moved to the LA. And it was not. My name it's is fine. Nina. It's doable. I'm 24. I, I found it really hard to get protein in, like lean protein, in without having just eat mm -hmm. fucking tofu I'm every day, though. I also find it really hard to get iron and i think not getting the access to some of those like nutrients can make it like really hard if you ever just decide to like switch back poachers are the fucking worst oh million percent i have a friend who's a hunter and they say that they will fist fight a poacher at the drop of the yeah at the end of the day i'd be comfortable with eating anything that isn't as smart as me <laughs> oh my gosh cannibalism mm -hmm. five years now and i'm a professional astrologer <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Hi, my name is Brittany. I'm Koya Kondene from Alaska. I'm a first generation college graduate and I went to school in the California area and I'm currently on a road trip visiting Alaska. friends to hmm. learn whose land I'm on. I'm Carly. I'm from Texas. I'm <laughs> my wife, a mom. I also exactly what I would have thought. Me. Bro, I drank a Red Bull. Why? Yeah. Is that surprising to y'all that two hunters <laughs> walked over? I'm, I would love to hear why. Yeah, I would okay. love to hear it. The hunters have the utmost respect for animals. Yeah, it's all about being respectful, exactly. Some vegans need to take a break. Almost all carnivores used to be vegan. The biological cravings are strong. Yes, I best avoid it. <laughs> right, Bacon? <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. The Golden Rule isn't applied to sentient creatures yet. I just... Like, I'm not really into the dairy thing at all, but no, I do find it hard to get a lot of, like, basic nutrient things. Like, out of meat, like, I don't really like beef or anything. I only really like chicken. Mostly. And, like, fish. I like fish and chicken. That's really about it. How's my favorite monster drinking Red Bull hating streamer? Hey now, hey now. Honestly, I don't know if you heard my like interpretation of the Red Bull, but it kind of tastes like if I like teabagged Perrier with a battery. Like. 
I'll try to be vegan for a week. Failed within the first day. I must have a glass of milk. I don't drink any of that. I don't really even like cheese, to be fair. I think that's a really hard thing for people to see. How can you love something um, and respect something that you kill? It's just a hard concept, right? Conservation is a- Well, I mean like circle of life. I feel like how can you pair air with a- Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was vegan for a bit. I don't, I don't know. It wasn't too hard. I just noticed getting, like, meat alternatives can get a bit expensive. But then again, investing in higher quality meat can get a bit pricey, too. So, in every day. Cows are, are pretty smart, sentient, emotional creatures. I would eat a dude or a chick with, with little second thoughts if necessary. I'll say, yeah, I don't really eat cow or anything. I hunt. And not just chicken. food for my family, but I can shoot a certain number of deer each year it also helps with population you have to keep population down population correct it is a necessary thing you have to i remember like sometimes where i would live they would issue licenses for like shooting wolves just because you have to keep population in check i mean hey i guess it's circle of life i guess i've never rival really the fittest this conversation from like a angle of vegans versus hunters is always vegans versus meat eater. Mm -hmm. So I understand, in a sense, the... Uh, yeah, this is certainly a unique contrast to the two. The yeah. respect you have to what you're doing, I just know that I can never do that. Yeah, and I think that, for me, is... Which is also fair, yeah. If hunting becomes illegal, just think of it... Just think of it poaching will be right, yeah. They already do have... You have a gun switch. One of my maybe more bigger issues is not with vegans, but it's more people who eat meat that don't understand hunting. So you're going to eat meat that was slaughtered at a Correct. factory. Correct. <laughs> but I can't just give a deer one swift, great bullet in the heart where it dies, out where it's supposed to die. I was one of those people that said I could never even be vegetarian. Like I was probably like the people that you're describing. Yeah, I could be vegan. Don't I don't like think it'd be that bad. To what they're eating, I didn't think about it. And then got to be creative, but <laughs> as streaming services go. But I also, dude, I feel so much better when I actually get to eat fucking chicken. Like I'm actually like after months of like being totally like straight up like pretty much vegetarian. Or not months, but like years of it. Like I, I've noticed now it's like hard for me to like absorb proteins and like absorb iron. And I'm just now recently starting to like get it fucking in my system despite like cramming it daily. <laughs> Dance, yeah. Spicy chicken slap, bacon cheeseburger slap. I usually have chicken bacon um, and chicken breasts or chicken tenderloins. That's about it. And a little documentary. Maybe like turkey jerky sometimes. <laughs> suggestions. But it changed your life. And it changed my life. And yeah, the like, documentaries make me fucking disgust. Yeah. Like sausage and egg and like fried cheese. And then that night I watched this documentary. And so that's why I'm vegan because I can't. Cheese could cut it out. Dairy, don't need it. Honestly, could care less. And to be fair, if they made like a better ratio of like calorie to nutrients to protein of like fake meats, I would probably go back to that too. The essence of being is that we are aware. So I have one of the fits of the apps of our current situation. I like our meat. Dairy is very pog. Support like us as an <laughs> Yeah, I just I don't populace, like removing the choice from that. My thing is like when I have dairy, it makes me really phlegmy. And we're not really meant to even have fucking cow milk anyway. Large of a swap. Can they make cheese out of breast milk? Like human breast milk? Your opinion is cringe in my opinion. I mean, more cheese for you. Just because they're animals. It's I'm not gonna eat it, you know? So hey, more power to you. It's like just a, the magic happens, the skies part, and all the meat is like done in a way that is humane with that make you more inclined to eat meat i think that you could right. get into the fundamentals of like is it humane to kill something i have to understand and respect and honor that like in indigenous cultures you know there's many reasons why people hunt we would all be remiss if we didn't admit that you know at a time you have to argue though that being able to be vegan in a lot of ways could also be a bit like privileged and you would have the opportunity to like afford that type of dietary in choice history, like we needed animal protein and animal meat to survive but today, like, it's not necessarily a necessity. I was being taught. I would also say we are omniv. 
spores. So it's the like, hunting. can you survive without it? Sure. By an ethical. But to argue and say, I don't know. And again, I think that's a hard, mm. harder concept here. Um, cause trust me, like they're asshole hunters, mm. but that's what I was, I saw conservation. And yeah. Saw you can be a totally ethical about why we do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I saw the food, you know, I haven't bought beef. Mm. I mean, also by hunting, you're not supporting mega corporations that do torture animals. And by hunting, you also can like more appropriately, like hunt for your area and like region and they can like dictate what is like an appropriate amount to make sure that populations are at a like reasonable level to make sure that shit doesn't get like horribly unbalanced and you can also help a lot of families because i know it's like way more cost effective to just like buy a deer and then you can just freeze it long term and you're good for a while survival of the fittest still applies the only things that change are the traits valued by community sites across Ooh. Six, seven Ooh. Years. Can I ask you a question that I'm kind of scared to ask? And okay. we'll see. So you said that you're a mother, and if you think of like Bambi, do you ever consider the small baby animals? You don't kill females. That you're taking their parents away from them? Okay, so you don't. Okay, so I could be wrong, but like you won, you're not gonna kill though. You know, I don't think you usually kill the females because like they're the ones that keep shit going. And like one fucking buck can impregnate all the okay. deer. So, so that doesn't like work in that area. It's not like it has like mommy and daddy, right? Who's vegan? They have said multiple times that they nearly slipped up and ate animal products because it's so much easier to get proteins that way. <laughs> like I lift weight, right? And my protein level was like not good at all. I was probably getting in like 40, 50 grams. I could probably now like with being more aware now of alternatives probably get it in mostly but i up my protein probably from like 40 a day to like 140 grams a day and i think in the last like three months i've probably seen more development and growth than i had in like the past like two years you know that they've never killed a female animal yeah like you don't that's not Okay, I did not want to be rude about someone's looks, but I feel like it'd be really hard to brush your hair. Yeah. Looking at this afterwards? Okay, dance. B &B. Let me... Boop, 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 boop. Would you eat meat created in a lab? I would. I have, actually. Or at least artificial stuff. Fuck me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I want to save it so I don't lose it. Okay. Perfect. Solution. Like, just a, is like, I can respect all the animation to ask and consider the Okay, perfect. I love this. B&B doesn't exist. <laughs> That's a Disney movie. If a mom is there with her yearlings you would never you don't kill babies and you don't kill the mom <laughs> bacon right you wait until she kicks them. i was like what the fuck did i say and that's part of like ethical hunting that is like yeah no one really like you wait until you don't do that are kicked out i learned from my clinket cousins they're from the southeast no mm. once they mess the technology to grow me i will invest in ethical cannibalism oh my that's lord it. They're the ones that invented the fish hook. It was so wide that only a full grown halibut could get caught. It's a generational thought. You're not just thinking about, oh, I need food tonight. You're like, how do I make sure I protect their natural processes? When fish hooks are made now, anything can cook out. So many of our right. colonial That's a good point. were staying in balance with animals and we had so many practices that prevented over hunting right and the people who are living off i'll take one lab grown oh my god <laughs> land who are fighting oh no are last priority we're not allowed to fish if there's commercial fishing we're constantly being watched and fined mm -hmm. constantly having land taken away um if you look at any community it's constantly 
happening to them. Yeah. They're told they're not allowed to do this or eat this. It's all connected. It's all a cycle. Yes. 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 And if you don't go up there, you're wrong. Yes. It, it, I think it is. If you have a choice of where you get to get your food... If you have a strict choice to be able to be so specific about your diet, then it is a privilege. Including how expensive a lot of, like, vegan options are, or even being located in an area where you have, like, healthy produce food options. and where... So. I guess there has to be a market for lab-grown organs that don't pass quality inspection meat market. Our ancestors survived the ice age while hunting mammoths with toothpicks to look upon us in disgust. Oh my god. Yeah, it's totally a privilege. I don't know how somebody could say it's not. I'm surprised she didn't go up there. It is a privilege to have yeah. a choice. To, to have a choice, vegan. totally. Yeah, it includes, you know, makeup and clothing and all of Oh, yeah, the whole, like, so... Veganism is so extreme These sometimes. It's expensive, too. You know, sustainable clothing, for example, is... Expensive. Yeah. Um, if you're trying to buy it new and thrifting is great, but some people don't even have access to that. And so just, I think that choice... Totally, a million percent. Veganism is a choice. I was born in Haiti, uh, the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. And the fact that my parents were able to leave with me when I was just like one years old into the States like really shaped how my life would mm -hmm. go. The lifestyle that I'm living is such a stark contrast from the people down uh, in the Caribbean. Right. I feel like I have to talk about how veganism, especially in the States and especially in like the global West, has yeah. been totally co-opted by like, I'm just gonna say it, by whiteness. Veganism shouldn't be a privilege in my opinion, but it is. Okay, but you could also just be like, having like healthy food is a privilege. Like, being able to afford, like, food that is, like, good for you is a privilege. Someone I know said that it's not a privilege, and I know why I punched them, and what? What? They can, like, the world what? that we live in now, it is. Like, having the option to, like, make those dietary choices and be very, like, restrictive, especially without any, like, real, like, health need. Yeah. It's expensive, dude. A lot of places don't even don't have those fucking that. options. Are you kidding me? Make a difference between what they are and what they do. About being a vegan. I think of yeah. it as like something that rich white people. Yeah, totally. Do. But I don't know. I don't, I don't know any vegans. I don't know how much money it costs. Yeah, a lot of people also um, from lower income backgrounds or areas, they also rely. On yeah, you know how expensive it is sometimes to like buy all the shit and be educated and also like have the finances to be that way, but then also have, like, the time to prepare and prep food. Yeah, some food people literally live off of the dollar menu because it's fast and cheap. Because, as far as I understand, the government subsidizes meat and animal products much more than it does vegetables. When we think about someone who... It really depends on the area. ...has to work... To see, like, what your, like, opportunities are. I punched them because I know multiple people who want to be vegan, but the money and availability messed it up, so they can't be vegan. You, I, like, being that I was vegetarian for so long, like, I can start to figure out how there's, like, things around it. But even then, like, you have to go to the store, I feel like, every, like, like weekly, because produce is going to go bad quickly. So you have to have the time to, like, go shopping regularly, and prices can be insane. A lot of people also maybe don't know how to necessarily keep their food long. So yeah, it's a, I don't know how somebody could argue it's not a privilege. Me being able to buy organic meat is a privilege. A low-wage job. Are you vegan or do you practice vegan? It's either a state of being or a way of life. One of the two shouldn't advocate. To yeah. survive? You also have to think they're probably working more than one job possibly right you want the easiest meals yes you want the highest calorie meals because you're working and you're burning so many calories so when you're saying why don't you eat more plant-based you're asking them to change their shopping habits you're, you're asking, asking them to change them a lot of things yeah spend more time you're asking them to educate themselves mm -hmm. and when mm -hmm. you are working that hard you you have to numb yourself you are eating to yeah survive. that is different than choosing what you're eating totally and it's not fair to like 
ask any of those people in survival mode to completely like shift their way of life and, mm -hmm. and learn a whole new lifestyle. And I also like, is it even the healthiest for some people? I agree with that. I'm just curious, like if we were all born, like, I got a no, no, I hold on. I got a, I got a no, no. There's something that I'm kind of curious about. Like does being like vegan cause malabsorption? No, I want to know if it can cause, like, literally, like, long-term malabsorption from not being aware. Vegan diets are adding to malnutrition in wealthy countries. Vegans can prevent micronutrient deficiencies by consuming fortified foods. It's possible, for sure. Yeah, of course, it's possible. But normal people don't do that. Vegan diet and diarrhea. No, I want to know about, like, malabsorption from, like, not consuming the proper nutrients for a prolonged amount of time. Should I be concerned about the fact that- Oh my god, Dan! Oh my god! No. Yes? <laughs> uh, what a sentence! What an- what a sentence! <laughs> oh my goodness. Three centuries from now, the world has- I don't- I don't- is it- I don't think so. Culture can reach every corner of the globe. How would that affect- Right, I'd go with a no. Your views or your choices. Am I going to be judged if I say not at all? <laughs> I'm genuinely curious. Yeah, I don't, I mean, like, I'm going to eat meat. I don't want to say there's no reason to not eat meat. But there's maybe no reason the to eat The more, right, yeah. yeah I, get, I get it, I get it. I'm feeling judged. I'm not judging, but, know, I, but I don't understand. I'll be honest, I yeah, don't understand. I mean, like, I still cry when I kill something. I mean, mm. I love the animals, but they're still just animals. Like... It's okay to eat one. Everyone's been eating meat forever. That's true. You know, and it's been there's a never been practice. a culture ever that was 100% vegan. You know, they have shifted. They're plant-based mm. and Mediterranean and Buddhist, and they have moved towards a culture who was 100% vegan. I don't think has ever existed. It sounds like it's a natural order kind of. I think it's just because we're omnivores, I guess. Yeah. That's interesting to hear because I'm firmly of the belief that like we are animals. Mm -hmm. So for me, yeah. So we're animals. So is it wrong for other animals to eat animals? What he just said honestly doesn't make sense. If I'm gonna be honest, like if you want to be vegan, sure. But him being like we are just animals is like okay. So then is it wrong for animals to eat animals? Because life was so hectic. People ate anything that they could to survive. I guess I'm just surprised that they're like, like, are they trying to say that we're herbivores? The natural order perspective. Or are they just trying to say that we should evolve enough where we no longer have to consume to animals? Water. Do you guys have pets? Like, and, and That's it. What the fuck is a herbivore? Can I, I want, need to, I need some examples of herbivores. Herbivores. Is an animal anatomically and physiologically adapted to eating plant material? Think, like, I want to know what. What are herbivores? What are examples of herbivores? Baby gorillas, not adult gorillas. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that is. That's a bug. Grazing in the forest. Okay. I just, I'm curious. If we were horrible, why do I have these sharp-ass teeth? There's something quite intimate and primal about the vitality of a living creature that you... Hard to consume on your person. Kind of like a warm feeling when you eat the shit. Not high enough on general. They appreciate the feeling of sure. Uh. Cow. Okay. That have adapted to survive nutrient poor grasses. Interesting. Turtles. Bees. Cow. Wow, that's so pretty. Okay, caterpillars? All right. I'll be honest. I want to know, like, herbivores that are mammals. Yeah, give me some examples. I'm really curious. I don't... Horses, donkeys, okay. Kangaroos, wallabies, wombats. Okay, okay. Sloths. You know what? All right. I just feel like maybe we didn't fully, like, adapt enough yet. It's really weird being on this side. 
I think even as a vegetarian, I don't think I ever once was like, everybody should be this way. I would argue that I think being a vegetarian in some ways did make me feel like I was like better than someone else because I had the like willpower to like not eat meat when other people would. But I think it also just depends on the person. I feel like I have more energy and feel better with a more varied diet. And I would have, like, vegetarian meat substitutes constantly. I think there's a smart way to go about being vegan to maybe, like, work. Like, there's tons of vegan bodybuilders, but I don't think it's suitable for everybody. Especially because of the price to even eat that. Like, eating tofu and shit and alternatives every day to get your protein in, like, it gets expensive. Some flowers eat meat. These terms fall apart the more you examine them. That's why I always like to look at them, though. It's always why I like to look. Damn, even flowers. That's beautiful. I'm adapted enough, thank you. I like my spicy fried chicken. <laughs> yeah, I just... Other parts of the world, what you would consider your pet, some people would eat. I also... Here's my other thing, though. I don't know if this is fucked up. I don't get the hard yeses and nos of what animals we would and wouldn't eat. I don't get why people are like, why would you want to eat a guinea pig or a horse or a dog? What's the problem with eating those things? Who cares? Right? Like, if you're going to eat meat, you should then have to accept that, like, most meats would then be fine to eat, right? Because, like, what he's going to say, it being in different countries, million percent, meat is meat. Like, I don't like the jokes people make about, like, oh, you eat dogs. It's like... But that's fair. I mean... So? Like, I don't eat my dog. And I yeah. don't... Okay. Maybe I would eat a dog. If I went to another country and they were like, you want to try guinea pig? Fuck yeah. If somebody's like, yo, you want to try squirrel? Horse? Yeah, I'm going to try it. Alligator? Yeah. <laughs> Cat? I don't know. You know I mean Fucking ad, bro. I'm so sorry. I don't know why they keep I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope it's a small yeah, ad. Don't worry about someone in China eating dogs. Like I you know, we can all try You eat what's available. You can rationalize due to empathy or social prejudice, but me is yeah, I don't it's interesting though because it does kind of challenge the natural like, order for like i don't know people eat fucking monkey brains i don't do i think that you should start fucking cutting up an animal while it's alive and torturing it fuck no but yeah animal like, is an animal you draw the line? It, right something like wolf fox in this conversation too, squirrels is knowing that uh even when we eat plants there's so many people that we're exploiting yes the course, yeah i think is just having that respect you should avoid monkey brains. I don't- I wouldn't want to eat a monkey brain. Your food. I don't think I've ever seen that humanely done. I fully agree with that. I think I, you're right. When be I don't want to eat the cute animals. What? People lose perceptions. You aren't stuck in traffic. You are traffic. It's yeah. It's cruelty-free. Mm -hmm. The avocados that I eat, you know, were harvested by people that are being exploited. So. Correct. So you guys consider hunting a privilege? Isn't everything a privilege to a, a point, right? A lot of people are going literally in their backyard, shooting something, processing it in their house. It's yeah, opportunity, brain. sure. Monkey brains are too similar to human brains? Oh no. Yeah, okay. Specifically eating the brains of a... Eating the brain of another human being can cause guru? Oh god. Brain system to mad cow disease makes sense. Cruel experience coming. That would be interesting. <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah. I can I say live and let live as long as they don't eat my pet. Yeah, that's where that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at, Nostra. Exactly. Exactly. Like that to me is beautiful. Hunting can be beautiful. Like, live your best life. You basically have to have a huge ranch. I would just say, I don't dig torturing things. Just do it or humanely. You spend a ton, a ton of money to hunt on someone else's ranch. And then or I think what a lot of people see too. are... That's what I'm saying. I had was not aware at all. Going over to Africa and hunting. I don't want to eat a guinea pig because it's so cute. What? Come on. I have not done that yet. 
I mean, I've tried crickets and shit too, and I feel like those are kind of cute when they're alive. I am not for it or against it. I do know that tourism in Africa is a huge money maker for mm -hmm. them. I mean, those villages are really poor, and having an entire animal and multiple animals that hunters give them is a it's mm. big for them. Yeah. My question with that would just be, why would it have to be a tourist? It kind of just sounds like. the white savior complex oh i didn't think we were going down that cr 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 crickets are gross you i mean they were like cooked crickets they had like a little like seasoning on them and stuff yeah, i mean they were fine because we are willing to pay a load of money <laughs> i remember reading a statistic about like a single elephant in its lifetime can garner over a million dollars just from photographic tourism one single elephant's ivory is about twenty-one thousand dollars so just that in itself, like to me, is evidence that like non-violent tourism, like non-trophy mm -hmm. hunting tourism, like is just as lucrative, if not more lucrative. Maybe. Spicy crickets and crunchy. Among Pacific and South American culture, they practice cannibalism. Many have genes biological which is brand disease and school document. Mm. They sometimes make neato, but <laughs> than trophy hunting. You know what? I would agree. I don't fucking like the idea of just killing an animal just to kill an animal. I don't really love that. See, and now, and now we blend, right? And now we blend. So I think it's fucked up to just hunt something just to hunt something. Come on, Brett. I had to Because it's like you're just like hunting animals just for fun. That's kind of fucked up. You just leave a corpse. I would have disagreed, but after hearing your story, it is necessary. To an extent. Mm -hmm. If you're hunting for the hunters are cringe now. I'm saying living crickets are gross. The <laughs> food, then you're saying that your life is more important than that other animal's life, and that is more reasonable to me than saying that your pleasure or your trophy or whatever is more important than. Yeah, like I find that a little, eh. unless it's for training purposes. Well, I mean, even, like, let's say, like, you're hunting with a kid, right? Usually they still, like, like, I imagine, like, where I grew up, you're, like, you know, teaching a kid how to hunt. You're still gonna shoot at the deer that you would keep, right? Yeah, even if it's for training, you, yeah, you would still grab the animal. It is also safe. Hunting for sport is fucked up. Hunting to use the animal for food, clothes, tools, then, yeah, exactly, Zony. That's where I'm at. That's exactly where I'm at. You should use it. I fucking hate, I hate the idea of totally just, like, taking a life and fucking wasting it. Like, if you are going to shoot an animal, just respect the animal and fucking use everything. Like... Gosh. Which I, I don't even think that should be that fucking hard. It's masochistic? Yeah, like, I'm like, if you fucking get, like, a chub up fucking taking a life, like, you good? Yo, you, you good? <laughs> but like, I realize. I don't know. It's also just kind of like, what a waste. I, I got you, Zoni. And I get you. Like I got two you. Hours if you needed a medical emergency. Oh, in Alaska, so, for yeah, real. I don't know any killing besides safety and like food, and then we still trying yeah. to make the most out of the body. And oh, I guess also, I guess like if you you're a farmer, right? And I don't know, like a wolf is coming in and fucking killing all your chickens or something, so you have to then defensively, like, kill- Yeah, for defense, then, yeah. And we'll try to, like, feed it to the dog team, so. That makes there sense. There is just the biology of land, and there is biology of carrying capacity, and there is biology of how these animals have to be, you know. Her argument I'm curious about, right? Because her argument might be, like, a little, like, almost, like, weird to me, because I don't see- like, she hunts for food, too. I don't- she really just going out there and, like, pow pow. Kills innate. People don't like to talk about it. We are all capable of doing it. speak both things. Oh, yeah, yeah. In fight flight situations, because of video games, hobbies, shit. This is why before internet and TV, so many adults had sociopathic, psychopathic behavior towards animals during childhood. Hmm. Hmm. That's an interesting- hmm. I've never thought of it that way taken care of. Hmm. I know that if people are not hunting, those deer are going to 
Yes, totally Nostra, totally. Starve. There's not enough food, mm. there's not enough water. Yeah, if you have the opportunity to put an electric fence up, probably your best bet, <laughs> probably. So to me, I will take one for the team and I will shoot a few deer this year to keep the land in check and the ecosystem in check. I don't disagree that. I feel like though, that's still, you can still just use the deer for meat yeah, though. I mean, it may turn into a shit ton of jerky or something. My question to that would be like, what's actually sitting at the root cause of the deer overpopulation? Is the root cause yeah, that okay. people aren't hunting enough, or is the root cause that their, you know, their land is being taken away? But Good me point. making assumptions, hunting is a band-aid solution. Like, I wish I could answer a very smart and like, well, based on data, that's yeah. what we've done. <laughs> I mean, look at Los Angeles and Dallas, and like, where are our animals going? Right. They're dying. You know, I mean, but what is the solution? I don't know. The U.S. a yeah. lot of the times has tried to. Oh, the jerky moment! Come on, let yeah. When keeping the ecosystem in check, be letting nature do its thing and equilibrate. For thousands of years, yeah. And have relationships with the animals. There are solutions. There are people that know it, and we need to push people in power to uplift voices who have this knowledge. Yeah. Nature always keeps itself in check. So, I feel like everyone's gonna go up. And I think that is a very hard thing to compare. Because they're gonna be eating vastly different things to compensate for their nutrients or some. But then again, I would also say that is it the best to have a diet that requires you to be on like a bunch of artificial like vitamins and capsules? Probably not. Your diet should be able to get you all of the nutrients you need naturally, right? That'd be the most optimal. Oh, he's thinking about it. Because I would say I don't... Yeah. Nature's pretty different from nature that allows for the existence of sustainability. Yeah, yeah. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> the question is healthier than what? I chose to come up here because my diet is healthier than when I was not eating a vegan diet. I love a Beyond Burger. Is that healthier than eating rice, beans, and collard greens every day? No, it's not. Do I believe that eating plant-based is healthier than eating animal products? Yes. See, I don't fucking like that answer, actually. I think that's a really bad answer. I think my diet now is a lot fucking cleaner because I found that like, I can just eat like chicken breast, and I'm like, that's a good fucking sustainable thing. I'll just buy a 10-pound bag of fucking chicken. To be cleaner, though, it's like, what kind of meat are you even, like, buying? Like, I literally fucking eat egg whites, bro. Like, I don't... Like, eating a Beyond Burger? So you're telling me a grilled chicken breast with fucking spaghetti squash and, like, tomato sauce is, is not healthier than a processed lab meat like Beyond Burger? That just seems a little flawed to me. Use the term nature like the invisible hand is used by capitalists. Nature has had enough mass extinction so that life is an aberration in the universe. Hmm. Hmm. If you're super, super intentional and informed about what you're putting in your body, then it's going to be healthier than someone who's not. Period. That's also healthier on an emotional and mental level. I thought she was going to talk about her using, like, miso soups and, like, tofus and, like, tempa and stuff. There's this detachment, this emotion. So... I'm coming out being like my impossible patty. I mean, I guess it uses less water than a cow. That's an aspect to look at it. Healthier for the environment. Vegan vegetables will sometimes find themselves needing to reincorporate meat in the diet because the body needs. It. Like that's me. My iron was so low. I was a vegetarian for like well over a decade. And once I started getting more into wanting to do, like, weightlifting and, like, not seeing any results and realizing that, like, my protein is way too fucking low, I started incorporating that. And I feel a lot better. And it's so much easier to, like, hit macro goals now. But I, I still don't really have a strong disposition for meat. I don't think I eat any other meat besides literally chicken. Chicken is, like, the only meat that I eat. Or, like, fish. I'll eat any kind of fish. Like, and I mean, like, eggs, I guess, but. I never heard of anyone that needed to cut out meat because their body rejected it. I mean, nah, G Jesus ate fish. Right, yeah. 
Wasn't the Apostles vegan? I don't think so. Yeah, he had to be in at least, like, Lee and me. Even if all the nukes, bullets, and bombs on Earth detonated, we wouldn't be able to wipe life on this rock or really impact nature. Yeah, it would all just probably start again. I know that I've gone hunting once or twice. Last time I went hunting, the first shot it didn't. Until it hit the thigh and it collapsed and was like, I didn't know what to do with it. Thank God my hunter friend was there and just stabbed him in the face one quickly. Yeah, that sounds definitely quite traumatic. Like, I I don't think I could, could hunt. I think I could maybe kill a chicken. I don't I don't know. I'm not much of a venison person either. Animal and, and that to me is emotionally unhealthy. Mm. I think awareness. I will also say though, if you're not, if you don't think you were able to like kill the animal you're eating, I don't know. I think doing so at least once maybe gives you more like awareness of the situation. Because the environmental impact of me, especially beef and pork. Yes, Zoni. Yes, exactly. It's why I don't like consuming any beef. I don't really like pork. I literally. Don't mess with any of that. Dairy, don't really love dairy either. It's very bad for the environment. All the other side shit that contributes. Totally. And some people rely so heavily on that. And it's like, eat a fucking vegetable every once in a while, dude. But I feel like the health-based, morality-based arguments against meat consumption will work. Yeah, yeah. Not sure about chicken, though. Mm. The healthiest things that we can have... I know if you like search veganism like online, especially on YouTube, you can see very dangerous vegan diets being uh, like just told to. Oh, like, totally! Or you start hitting like fruititarian. Massive audience of like young impressionable people, like <laughs> but like Oreos are vegan, Twizzlers are vegan, <laughs> and that's been one angle, yeah. and I'm down to sleep of Oreos. I'm just like, why did I do that? But just wait until you're 30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm 24, so I feel mm. like God, I'll just keep on kicking. I don't know. Coming here, I want to be very careful in extremes. Like my meat is, you know, my diet is healthier. I don't know that. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. Million percent. I believe the meat I eat is better than what you would get at McDonald's. Million percent. I would say the same thing. KFC did fucking vegan nuggets. Is that better? Like. Do my parents curse me to existence? Not this god forsaken right? little to no good future for my own Osprey and I have to deal with that without me? Hell no. Be a vegan. <laughs> like it seems like so much work. There's a learning curve. It's not hard in the grand scheme of things. Um, like I think if I went back to being vegetarian or vegan now, I think my options are a little better. And I think they're creating a lot more artificial things. I'd probably use tofu a lot more, to be honest. And I feel like you would have to really fucking depend on like protein shakes and protein powders and shit that which isn't also very natural either i feel a lot better um pea protein in the work because i feel more empowered i guess you could say the definition of veganism is just as far i don't know i think being vegan's honestly not that hard okay i can eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches preservatives nope yeah exactly it's like we are working your whole diet is not easy I guess since I've I've been vegetarian, I've been vegan, and then I've been like ovo vegetarian, I've been pescatarian. And I think once you find your meals, you can start to swap easy. But being vegetarian, even like being vegan, it's not hard. She's right. Like you can just do like eat Oreos for your dessert. That's fine. You can have you can make jello out of like agar agar. Smoothies, shakes, powders, vegan protein powders, vegan protein shakes. You can literally still have, you can have fake vegan eggs with like your toast and you can have your vegan bacon. You can have like salads and wraps, general salads, tofu, grilled tofu, wrap it, flavor it, baste it, stir fries. It like, you can. What is practicable and possible. Oh, hydrate, you're right, you're right. Remember when PETA tried to guilt trip meat eaters by putting names and pictures of cows on steaks? People raided their supermarkets to have the the cutest cow steaks of their names. <laughs> yes! <laughs> like, I even have, like, PETA stickers. Like, I still am, like, totally for vegans and vegetarians, but, like, tofu everything. Like, I... Like, I buy, like, Impossible Burgers... 
And I buy, like, sometimes even, like, chicken filet alternatives. Like, I like chicken alternatives. Like, I like all of it. I just... Tofu sucks. That's fair. I've seen one people, they'll, like, make desserts out of tofu. Like, mousses. And they'll do, like... They'll, like, blend it up and make, like, tomato sauces. It's doable. It's doable. I just don't think you could say a vegan diet's healthier than a meat eater's diet at it's all. It's all about doing your best. And then it's also, like, the argument of, well, like, keeping animals alive, they consume a lot of shit, and it's kind of like, we should just kill all the animals so they don't drink water then. Like, I don't get the whole, like, animals, like, need nutrients, you know? I've tried, to, I've tried it, tastes like ass, not the good kind either, shitty unwashed ass. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, goodness. Oh, a little tiny- Ooh, a little tiny debate video. Oh, she looks fucking hardcore vegan! Oh! ...in your body. Dead, carcass, pain, suffering, fear. Okay. Fucking calm down. Don't plants have fucking feelings, too? Not the turf pigs! Oh, Zony, I fucking know, I know. Oh, God. Oh, the bangs, dude. You're right. You're so right. I can't unsee Can it I now. Have all of my vegans go into that pool of light and my non-vegans in that pool of light. I can't say I'm surprised. But I like their drip. Brother, one line ZLC can be beaten in seven minutes and apparently that's how all the doc... Oh, no. Bro, she she banged like the dead animals with something in your stomach right now. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Dance. Thank you. Thank you. Of course it's the turf bang rad femme that's going on about you're a murderer. I know, I know. Feeling hungry? Oh, I think I might have seen this actually, Dance. Would you eat a steak? Grown in a laboratory? Yeah, I would. Would you take a bite of a cheeseburger made by a scientist? Yeah. Technology I would. startups. Ew. Sorry, they look kind of weird. And scientists are placing big bets on lab But yeah, sure, why meats. the hell wouldn't I? Currently, Honestly, though, if it tastes a lot like me, I don't think I would like it. Is responsible for around 15% of the global greenhouse gas emissions. We could see this number. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. Uh, turf, turf being rad femme. I shouldn't, but crazy as <laughs> Rise in the coming decades. Oh, no. According to the World Economic Forum. I can't read that. The world population is expected to be close to 10 billion by 2050. We'll see. We're getting smarter, and that means there's the, it might not be is such a huge trajectory, feed. right? This population boom and rising incomes will cause demand for meat products to rise by as much as 88% to feed the world's growing demand. I feel like we're just, I don't think, am I wrong? I feel like population's meat, starting to slow we down. We already use around 27% of the world's arable land to raise livestock. We need to find a more sustainable way of satiating this rising demand. One path to the future of sustainable eating could start with lab-grown meats. Not to be confused- I don't know, this sounds so cool. Exactly what do they mean by made by a scientist? Did they buy it from a store and throw it on a grill or did they synthesize it? Not just smarter, more wise. We're trying to understand we're all in this together. We have to actually care about both our local and global. Yeah, true, true. I think synthesized bacon. I think I think synthesized. Lab-grown meats are cultured in the lab uh, using cells which were originally derived from live well, animals. Smart, we'll probably genocide the shit out of each other. Don't we'll ever go beyond. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a good point too. COVID didn't help. In th oh really? It didn't take that much down. Sheesh. Nah, they threw it on a grill. This cultured meat would use fewer of the planet's resources, and no animals need to be slaughtered in the process. 
cultured meat oh. might become a regular part of our diets in the coming years, making its way onto the dinner table. Okay. And appearing in some of our favorite restaurants. I love impossible. I love impossible meat, dude. It's my favorite. It tastes the fucking best, but it bleeds, and that kind of weirds me out. Nonetheless, the prospect of this meat 2.0 raises a lot of complex social, ethical, and technical questions. And, simply put, some people find the idea yes, of beyond a uh. weird. So what is lab-grown meat, and how is it made? First, a technician takes cells from a live animal. These cells are grown up in a lab to... <laughs> Synthesized meat sounds kind of based. ...establish a culture called a cell line. I mean, I'm Once here for it. a cell line has been established. Why would I be weirded out? Uh, the shit I eat's weird anyway. Reactor. This is essentially a culture medium, which contains all the materials the cells need to grow. The cells in the bioreactor Ooh. grow and multiply Ooh. exponentially and are then harvested. Once harvested, the meat cells can probably kill the old, stupid, and vulnerable. Most of those people already breeded or wouldn't have contributed to the gene pool. So yeah, yeah, that's fair. Science can fool all our sense. Yeah, exactly, right? Exactly. If you can trick me by all means, you're like, and no animals were harmed in the making, and it tastes good. It's like, yeah, okay, sure. You want the matrix? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that's a good point, though, Dance. A number of unstructured items, from patties to sausages. In the future, it may be possible to use technologies such as 3D print. The Matrix. They're literally just recreating the conditions needed for cells to multiply. It's not that they're taking meat from worms and turning it into beef. Yeah, true. And edible scaffolds to create particular cuts of meat like chicken legs and T-bone steak. However, this is likely to be much more difficult than producing ground meat. The technology's first- Dude, I could just print a T-bone steak? That'd be fucking public sick. proof of concept appeared in 2013 in the Netherlands. Netherlands? Yeah, that Partially makes sense. funded by Google co-founder Sergey Brin, Dr. Those glasses. Mark Post, and his researchers at the University of Maastricht. Spent a little over three hundred thousand dollars creating the world's first cultured meat hamburger. It was described as like an animal protein. Animal protein cake. cake. The burger was even taste tested live on television and got okay. positive reviews in general. However, the lab-grown burger lacked one central element: blood, fat. Oh. In the meat that we eat every day, there are different types of muscles, connected tissues, lipids. Put a little butter on the bitch. Come on. Why didn't it work? No. No, mix it up, bot. You failure. Why didn't I hear you're bad? Uh, I'm so upset. Hold on, I've got to play it now. Here you go. Loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you should be, because you are dirt! What the fuck? Why didn't it play, bro? Come on. What the hell mix it up? You're ruining everything! Okay. Well, I'm so sorry. I made a mistake. I did my best. Thank you, Bacon. I really appreciate you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, where were we? I guess there's certain cuts that meat to be much harder than ground meat. You gotta get bones and fat. Yeah, true, true. Printer company was by the material to create. Do exactly, <laughs> exactly. Bones uh. and fat that give flavor and texture to the food. To this day, man, that shit's making me hungry, dude. With lab-grown meat is giving them the flavors and textures that you might expect from biting into a steak or burger. 
However, this has not stopped entrepreneurs and scientists from I mean, just add butter to it. You got your fats. Companies are I think working it's fine. to bring lab-grown beef, chicken, and even bacon. Bacon, it's not working. I don't know what to tell you. Come on. <laughs> Fuck. I'm trying my best. I cannot wait to print me out a cut. Of oh no. Oh no. Don't say that. Here. Cosplay flavor, right? Yeah. What the fricky frack? Why won't this play? This is lame, bro. Come on. Dude, my bot's tweaking out. Stop using it. <laughs> Just stop it. Just stop using it, okay? <laughs> I can't make it work. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Oh, no. I was referring to the most delicious nationality. Yes, yes, yes. Sweaty nerd flavor? No. Oh, God. Outsell? Fish. Wag you? At least it'd be more world. fucking cost Aside effective, right? The regulatory hurdles, these startups need to find a way to scale up cultured meat while reducing costs. More yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Impossible's really fucking good. These include developing better cell lines and baby burger. Cheaper culture media, reducing baby the time burger. It takes for the cells to grow. <laughs> And scaling up what are now small scale. Give me my money back, honestly, bacon. I'll probably refund you for those. Also need to find an I can do that. I'll refund you for the ones that didn't play. So my fucking mix it up bot wanted to be a butthole. And is added to culture media. The use of the serum is a major barrier for an industry that is trying to take animals out of the equation. All the right, okay. Meat also needs to taste good or be close enough to more traditional dishes that the public. Yeah, some will. people are so fucking dumb. Half people probably wouldn't even be able to tell what they're eating fake meat. That it comes from a lab until like Impossible Burgers literally bleed. Makes the leap from the lab to your dinner table. There are some delicious plant-based meat options you can consider that are gaining traction. Companies like Beyond Meat and Impossible Foods offer customers meat-free options made from Whoa, water, whoa, soy whoa, protein, bacon, coconut, bacon, bacon, oil, bacon. And natural flavorings. Hold on now. Some argue that the I don't know if we should allow butt fuck cuz that could maybe go down a path. You know, you know what I'm saying? The coming age of cultured meat dishes. How to print 3D human skin, dude? Now that sounds cool. All right, I gotta show you Impossible Meat just because it's so weird to me. Okay, Impossible Burger. Bleeding. Bleeds. Bleeding meatless burger. Can I just get to the fucking point? Uh, BuzzFeed would probably fucking murder me, dude. All right. We'll see. Okay, impossible. Cute. Has a little stick in it. Massive pickles. To make, and I to Show the me the blood. Meat. Take a bite of this. Show me the blood. Yeah. It's definitely impossible. Uh, I would say this is like the uncanny valley of, of meats. Something off of your meat. A I didn't see blood. I didn't see no blood. Launched production this week at the company. Okay, yeah, this shit is so cool. Facility. The manufacturing site in Oakland, California. Understanding that up shouldn't be allowed. Meat and for monthly burgs, but is made entirely from plants. Right. With a much smaller environmental. Yeah, you see that? Like it literally animals. bleeds. It's weird. Our is to transform the global food system. Scale up. So this is really exciting. Which will... Uses about house gas. It slaps though. It does. Great for our customers as well. As the six... You think they make this shit like when you cook it? Do you think people like it undercook? Actually, oh my god. Can you? This might be the last video that we're going to watch today, but I just, I need somebody to tell me if I'm crazy. And I, I just, please, I, 
Because I feel like I'm wrong Hi, when I'm watching this. I know I won't be able to upload this on YouTube or anything. Whatever. Okay. He doesn't... Yes, you are crazy because you're a streamer. Like, he doesn't cook the meat. He doesn't cook Everyone, the meat. I'm Emil Stonic. I can make a burger. Is sent this fucking animal eats raw meat. Exactly. I, I want to know because I'm just like some ugly, uneducated American that has overcooked what meat or what, but like. Turned into a nice, tidy six ounce punch when perfect, juicy, medium okay, right? cast iron. Burger. All right. And we're going to get a little bit of fat meat. It doesn't even tight. matter. Okay, so he's cooking it, right? This shit, this shit isn't cooked, right? Beautiful. This looks okay. We've got, no we got a nice. Let's see. So my brain tells me that that's just a hair underdone. You got yes, Liver King Zony, Liver King. Oh my god, I love him. This actually isn't too bad. This is fine. I I would say this is done. It's under. It's a little underdone to me, but I would say you're probably not gonna get sick from it. It's kind of weird though, right? Like it's a bit. It's not enough. Me, I feel like it should be cooked more. Okay, so now we're gonna do a grill. Nothing horrible. Yeah, I would say I've seen worse, right? So that I fucking ugh. not enough browning for my taste. The inside looks pretty this? perfect. Mm. I mean, it's tasty. It's like bleeding into the bun. That grosses me out. You're gonna get the d diseases from that. If it was frozen. I I don't know. Like. Like, I'm, like, squeezing it, and then the fucking blood juices from the burger, like, soak the bread. Like, for a steak, it's fine, but once you grind it, you gotta cook it all. So, that's what I thought, Zoni. That's what I thought. Like, steak, okay. But this, I, mmm, ah, uh, mmm. It's bleeding, right? It's bleeding. We're salting it, okay. whatever. Cutting it open. Okay. Oh, so it's cooked. This is interesting. It's it good. It's fine. Cooked less evenly, and you can see how that outer layer is gray and kind of dense looking. See, that just means the meat's bad. It shouldn't soak the bread, right? I'm like. That's because the salt actually. You too many words. Less tender. Okay. And this Frozen. Has been a bit more. The inside is lush. So he likes that. And beautiful, but a bit more gray than our fresh patty. Mmm. I mean, it's not bad. That's raw. It's fucking raw. It's fucking raw. When I was watching this the first time, when I was watching this the first time, I was like... Are we looking at the same thing? The blood's in the fucking bun. He just chars the outside. The inside's raw. This dude trusts him. He seems like a tourist without condoms. Just so yeah, yeah. He's a werewolf. I'm like... Is related to Gordon Ramsay? Bad. At least I know how to fucking make a grilled cheese. Bro, have you seen Gordon Ramsay's grilled cheese? But it's not an improvement on our fresh patty. Seriously. But it can be done. Okay. Steak weirdos will see a raw steak and be like, ah, oh, yes, cook beautifully. Steak weirdos will literally hear that fucking moo and they'll be like, cooked enough. Like, let's go to the backyard so I can air my clothes out a bit. Gas oiled. Okay, so grilled cute. burger. We'll just take these off with grilled burger. I don't care. Even as much heat as a cast iron. So that doesn't look right to me. Man, so we're looking at way less. It doesn't look right. It's browning. Mm. Is that not raw? <laughs> interior good color but it does look a tad dry mm. that looks a tad dry any fucking less undone and that bitch should be walking it's i'm done with raw stuff just slice it delicately and dip it in sauce i enjoy a steak but steak world will say newborn yes those mad at me if they handed me a burger like that i'm grossed out now he's like yeah this is good yeah I want a lot more browning. And because the heat was a bit lower, it lost some juices it cooked. It's fine, but nothing to write home. The color man's huffing the nuclear grade copium. Yeah. It's grilled and seeing some kind of weird gradients. <sighs> mm. 
Bruh! You don't, you don't think that ice cube. The inside is cooked pretty unevenly, probably because one side was colder. Mm. Yeah, I mean, fine, but it's certainly not juicier or better in any way. Water does not make food moist. Raw. A burger that's been raw. salted and oiled. We it's got a raw. hot charcoal grill. <laughs> it's raw. It's down right here. Raw. Okay, it's been about four minutes. Let's give. I it know, a right? I'm like, he's not eating this, is he? Really? Looks he's gonna get me. fucking sick. He's gonna get the shits after this. He's literally making sure he gets worse. Charcoal grill, smoky sort of rare, and it's like that's not enough. The bun is wet. Still nice and juicy. Also, if you're going to eat raw meat, can you at least fucking, like, I don't know, fucking you toast the bun a little? Yeah, in this video, always felt a little sketchy, though, to be honest. This doesn't shock me a ton. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mm. I'll have to show you that undone uh, grilled cheese after this. Okay, so, right, it's nasty. Hibachi. Okay. Love to see it. Raw. Raw. All right, let's try a pan. Temp looks great. It seems, this seems okay, but it still seems so fucking wet. His ass was on the toilet for 48 to hours about. after this. Mm. I write. You know, I've been, but actually a thing. We've got our burger patty. We've got a steamer set in this. Okay, steaming the burger. Grounding. And it really. If he turns out to be a serial killer, I would feign surprise. This is going to- Feeling looking. It- Graytown, USA. No direct heat, no browning. And it really shrunk up a bit. Hmm. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Does that look healthy to you? Do you want to eat that? The inside looks juicy, but we've got a fat gray ring all around it. Probably be- Is that good? Because it was cooking from all sides at once. Hmm. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Kelly's asking me if I'm okay. I'm so sorry, Iron Hand. I'm so sorry. The texture is it's an awful. It's weird to eat this much beef with no browning at all. Could be good with a slider pad. Like he's like pretty good. If he's freaking me the fuck out. Let's get to turn it upside down. Oh, oh god. Okay. I'm freaked out. We kind of scratched. We just don't have seen today. The inside actually looks pretty good. I'm what is that? What the what? Uh, pretty good to me. Pretty good to me. I'm not gonna lie. It it got the hamburger. Not that there's room service. The I'm just gonna skim through this now. Go. Okay, right? The brownie is even, almost smack the inside. Nice! This might be a sleeper hit. Mmm. That's a damn good burger. You know what? It's a bit dry. You know what? Higher than our standard this looks, burger, I don't know, it's raw, burger. right? Could have needed higher gray ring. That one's a gagger. That one's a gagger, dude. That one's a gagger. Getting into it. Gagging. Okay, waffle. Well, to be honest, decent. This is gonna be the only one cooked, right? Wait, what the fuck? You're acting the bit I wanted to see. Of I'm just showing everybody. Pale. Okay, so this looks cooked. Maybe a little extra, but looks cooked. Looks good. Looks healthy. Looks like my my body will be safe. Can you please go through the comments? Okay. I don't no, gag. That's seriously overcooked. Ooh, we definitely uh -huh. squished the hell out of it, so it lost a lot of moisture. Here. Blah. It tastes like a cafeteria burger. It's so gross. Bad. Rotisserie burger. Oh. And looks like we lost. Definitely on the rarer side. That's fucking gross. Really uneven. It's fucking raw. Mm. Definitely way less juicy. He loves it. They should try a frying pan. I guess technically, if it gets the right temperature, it's okay, but for sure it would be weird to eat. Dude, like... There's- I just- I don't think ground beef was, like, the right thing to- I just- I just- Yeah, a frying pan? Grill it a little longer? A little slower? Like, it's- I'll save the road. Not cooked. I was always taught the basic thing, like, the meat should change color.
Some more raw than horny people. Like Smash Burger it's OP. We have a God, I hope it's good. Of ground beef. We can use a spatula to smash it flat. Hit right. It smash Burger. He's gonna hate it. The beautiful thing here is just how much caramel. Yeah, I like me a caramelization for real. Beautiful. Steak wheels, man. Every time they say something, I can't Check take that it. Inside, still nice and pink. Good looking texture. A little wet, but looks like I won't poop. Are goaded, but I don't trust. I don't trust him either. He did not smash that nearly enough. He's it's a he has a problem. Imagine eating that while in a restaurant, sure, staring mindlessly. More cooked than some of the others. More cooked than some of the others. Also, it's meant to be two patties. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. this is definitely a favorite of mine. That exterior flavor is finer burger. Throws our water. Squish it good. Frozen. Flip. Okay. Maybe because the king. Mm. It's too pink to Honestly, me. It's like, to it's edible, it's but it's kind of pink. A place called White Mana and mash it, season with salt. Oh, this is my it. shit. That's how I make a burger, dude. More salt, and there it is. With the onions? That's my shit. Beautiful, though. It kind of steamed in the onion juices. God, it smells amazing. Yeah. So, so good. Okay. It could be cooked a little try. more. Late crispy caramelization. Mm. Pretty good. Yum. Pretty much exactly what we got indoors. Yeah, that's cool. Scenery. If I'm cooking burgers on a gas that's cooked, grill, that's fair. this is definitely my preferred way. This who does this Tommy doesn't have a fucking clue what he's doing. Yeah, yeah smoked I'm smoked burger. Smoke it. Hold on. Let me let me I need to see a smash burger now real quick. I'm actually going to change my transition when I do this so like it slides better and looks a little bit more flowy. Smash burger. Images. Okay. How many days did he film this? God, hopefully over a while. All right. Smash Burger. Okay, you are one million percent right. That is pretty thin. Oh yeah, a million percent. Totally. Type in Google Food Smash Burger. I have to go. Me and Chad. Understandable bacon. Understandable. I've never thought of pressing things into the smack. Oh, so good, Zony. So good. Kind of like White Cat. Is White Castle the one that fucking cooks everything over onion? Yeah, so this looks good. Gogu. Okay. Ooh. Guga. Guga. Oh, bro. That looks absolutely fucking phenomenal. Oh, Wagyu. All of this looks phenomenal, though. Not gonna lie. Yeah, this looks good. All of these look good. Sheesh. The pretty decent smash burgers. I think. Ooh, good to know, Zony. Good to know. We go. We're going on a on a food f downhill food thing. You got him. <coughs> Browning smells pretty very rare. <clears throat> Inside and somewhat, but the temp was too. This looks too raw low to get any real browning. Smells smoky though. The inside, well, looks pretty even, but also maybe very rare. Very raw. Very raw. Very raw. Not rare. Raw. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, it's smoky, all right. It's for smoked it up. Cook this here, Patty, with this. Check this out. Burn. The inside is pretty raw. Yikes. Mm. Uh, you know, it's too rare for me. It's cold in the middle. No thanks. Yeah, this seems like a good time to head back into the kitchen. Sous V burger. Now, then suck all the air out. And That's seal. a goddamn now, lion. I know. Hot. Check on this and about open our bag on both sides. I'm a little disappointed by this how much color we got here, but I was afraid to not loving that. Sous vide cooking is way better. Um, it looks. Microwave. We got uh, a burger patty. We're gonna season it. Transfer okay, he it to has plate, limits. Pop it in and cook it for pretty, two so and a half. Pretty, sir. Pretty, yeah. Oh lord, that's gotta be done. So here is our burger cooked with low-level radiation. It looks really gnarly and clearly lost a lot of its juice. No browning. Dis <sighs> Let's get this over. And. It's a little pink in the middle, but it cooked really unevenly. Let's get this over with. Mm. Well, it tastes like beef. It's I don't like that. Dehydrated. Dehydrator. Wait, this this looks fun. Take a look at the. Basically, I wanted you guys I mean, to see. It looks kind of good. I'm how not, fucking raw everything was. Really tough. Oh, it's so raw. Everything is raw. Beef. You know, I love steak. He just ate raw beef. Formed into a patty, and there's our tartar. There, tartar burger. Tar -tar burger. Obviously, this is 
raw, just beef with mix-ins. I'm gonna cut it in half, which is pretty unnecessary. Yep, still raw beef. There you go. That's basically how he likes his burgers. You know, I love steak tartare, but for some reason it's kind of daunting on a bun. Mmm, it's totally delicious. It would be a lot better if this bun He's like, this shit is it. This, this, this right here, delicious. Homie is a lion. I'm like, oh my God, dance. Oh my God. It was toasted. Yeah, the bun's the issue. Oh, actually, you know, I think watching some of those interrogation videos on YouTube would be kind of cool. I feel like I want to, like, brush up a bit on my, like, psychology from my undergrad. I really got to pull out a fucking DSM or something. But I think that'd be totally fun to, like, tear apart an interrogation of some, like, true crime shit on sure, stream. I think that'd contrast. be cool. I don't think I could eat this whole thing. It's a really cool way to eat beef. Can chop a bit to firm up. Now form it into a nice okay. really Oh, you cooked gorgeous. it. The oh. roughness of the chopped meat kind of cool. a lot of surface here. You should watch the dude who faked insanity. All right, I would be down. I would say next week we could definitely do some true oh, yeah. crime shit. Yeah, I'm lots down. Lots of browning. Hooked to some of our ground patties, but it looks really juicy, and I love how kind of amazing. It's kind of. It's raw. We're gonna add get a butter burger. The milk, nice. Anyway, basically, you guys, you get the gist, right? It like never gets better. better of heat it never gets air. better, basically. It never gets better. And then sear it on both sides. Like, just to get let me see if there's any other interesting then ones. We're gonna Beard burger, and it took longer. It's all so raw, okay, I'm right? Not... So, like, it's all fucking raw. Everyone here is just like, he deep fries a burger and manages to keep it raw. Like, these burgers aren't rare, they're mythical. Spots cow in a field. Looks a little over fucking cooked to me. That's what I'm saying. Like, eh, not enough caramel. Yeah, because that's when you cook. Yeah, basically, it's like, dude, they were so raw that they became bandages. Ugh. Yes. This exactly, this exactly. If you guys would be interested in watching some of these videos, I would totally be down to, I'll, I'll even throw it up in my bookmarks, actually. I'd be totally down to watch some of these. So if you guys are interested, I've been thinking about it. Not we're mythical. The comments have jokes. Exactly, exactly. Burger begins convulsing violently when you bite it. Too burnt. Ah, gosh. This would have been a better burger if the bun was just dough when he made the tartare burger. Like, God. Okay. I'm gonna save that video. We're definitely gonna watch it next week. Since I'm gonna take my little birthday break, you know? God, I gotta piss bad. But I wanna show you Gordon Ramsay's fucking... I gotta show you Gordon Ramsay's grilled cheese, okay? Gorg... God, can I spell Gordon? Gordon Ramsay's grilled cheese. It, it's mm. this is actually a really fucking great preface too to what you told me earlier, dance about how she couldn't cook. Even the dogs would side eye you if you served them that. Yeah, like okay. We don't need all this. All right, basically. Okay, so here we go. We got some fucking pretentious really? cheese, right? So, you can take off the rind. It's spicy. Look at that I love there. cheese, though. I well, mean, I like this kind of so cheese, beautiful. but I don't love, like, cheap cheese. With the kind of shit that I feel like we like on a charcuterie board. Asiago. That's Again, good. Down the rind, get the now, it's not too you get the point, right? So already, already. So we're making a grilled cheese, right? Bread's kind of thick. The cheese is really thick and hard. That's what she said. So, you would imagine you would have to cook it, like, low and slow, right? To get it to be a fucking grilled cheese. Now, butter heavily on the outside. You'll see why, especially when you get that nice, crisp Don't texture. trust him. Again, cover it. Don't trust him. With butter. Okay. I want to season the outside. 
almost tailor make it in a way that it becomes somewhat almost dude's my dude's playing fucking tetris on the grilled cheese to the bread and the secret behind this grilled cheese is a little bit of Damn. kimchi Damn. homemade kimchi which okay. is gonna give a nice so taste. i wouldn't even shit on the favorite flavor Sinity. profiles Sinity. right it and seems fine a beautiful fireplace over there so, did you think that a fireplace and a cast iron would be the best place to make this? It's almost like he has a stove or something. Nice okay. and warm. Touch of olive oil in. Beautiful. It's a lot. And, uh, get the temperature up. Oh, who am I? Just lightly. Starting to smoke. Rest on the side. Push that down. Nice. Up. Do you think this is gonna grill? And there she goes. I just want to know. Imagine walking in your dad is just cooking in the fireplace. It's like, Dad, you're fucking rich. Why don't you use your expensive ass stove? And she cooks. To be fair, this house might be like some nice little like cottagey thing, but still, like you have probably a beautiful fucking kitchen. Stop putting some weight on there. So it's not melting, so I think what we're supposed to do is push it really hard, right? If we push it hard, push it'll it it'll make it work better, right? It'll make the cheese melt more. Also, the temp isn't controlled at all. Looks like it might be burning. Dad, you're rich. Use the blowtorch. Don't be a peasant. Okay, see, so it was, so it burned a little. So it burned a little, kind of unevenly cooked, you know. Would probably cook the same on my, like, really, like, ghetto coiled stove. That's kind of, like, uneven. Push that down. That way it gets nice and crispy. <clears throat> Beautiful. Two minutes each side. And then once you've colored both sides back out, and just place your spatula on top. This is what happens to my stove because my stove literally is so uneven. You push down. And that helps to get the cheese nicely melted. So you just push it down really hard. Basically. Basically, just push the sandwich super hard and flatten it super intensely, and then everything is gonna be a okay. Like, like, it's just, go off, go off, Gordon. Incredible. The kimchi with that incredible cheese, especially that pepperberry, is just gonna be a wonderful combination. And also, it just helps elevate the flavor. I have had a grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That I think that was fun. pretty decent. Grilled cheese. Take that out. Turn that over. It's not. It's cracking away. Beautiful. The cheese is melted. It's not. It's this... warm. Yeah, how crispy that is. Look how crispy that is. One side of it got like burnt, dude. Flip it on the other side. Let me see the other side. Like, is that melted to you? Like, I like the idea of, like, the double layer of cheese, I guess. That's cute. Oh, my God. He should have just remade the sandwich and cooked it slower. He could have microwaved it and just melted the cheese after. It doesn't melt. There's no pull. Oh, my God. That's incredible. Like you don't, way. you don't believe that. Spicy. You don't believe. The acidity of that kimchi. No. And that bread cooked in the open fire. You're wow. wrong. Oh, uh, my chicken season. It almost makes me feel like I want Cajun. To, move to Tasmania. Like, I love how there's a perfectly normal stove in the kitchen where you control the heat, but he decides to go for the fireplace.
58,000 likes and no dislikes must be the grilled cheese sandwich with an undoubtedly melted cheese because it's so melted. Like, it's not grilled cheese. It's not. It's a fucking warm cheese sandwich. It's a cheese sandwich, not a grilled cheese. So you don't understand how amazing it was. It really takes so much skill and experience to burn a sandwich without even melting the cheese inside of it. That's what I'm saying. Like, it makes absolutely no sense. Some of these comments just make me fucking laugh. This exact recipe from another, she ended up eating the the cast iron and said, instead, it wasn't as tough. <laughs> fucking God. <laughs> Quarantine cooked his brain for you. That's what you get when you run out of lunch money. Oh my gosh. I just... <sighs> it's just funny to me. All right. I, I feel like I've torn apart enough fucking dietary shit as for today. Which is fine, it's fine, you know, like, it's okay, we're good, we're good. I just... <sighs> God damn. I think... I'm gonna have some supper, and I'm gonna go to the bathroom, um, and I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me. Sunday is my birthday, so I won't be here for the rest of the week, but I will be back next Saturday, I'm thinking. Next week, we'll probably do a Saturday-Sunday stream. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm going to drop my Discord for any new homies, if they care enough to do a little lurky lurk on the Discord. Otherwise, I will catch you guys soon. And I'll probably be on Discord while I'm on vacation, because uh, I'll need some stuff to entertain me. Anyway, I will catch you guys later. I appreciate you. I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. And I will see y'all next, next Saturday.